we're on. Episode 23 of the podcast. We have a special guest tonight in the house. All the way from Sweden. Sweden. I'm surprised Lenny didn't call Brad out for that thing a cookie cutter saying, in the house. Special <laughs> guest in the well, house. Well, we are in a house. Brad's such a cookie cutter, do I even need to go there? <laughs> Whoops, that's a cookie cutter term too. Somebody punch me. Hamburg, you're sitting next to him. Yeah. I love to being here and uh, thank you <laughs> fully that you bring me here. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. We wanted somebody that speaks like Borat. Yeah. We should just call you Borat. <laughs> Beer with me. I am not so good in English, but hey. he- hell no. Don't worry. Yeah. How are you enjoying Delray Beach? I love it. I want to move here. If I get the money, I... You will get the here. money. You yeah. will get the money. If you want it, you'll get it. Yeah. yeah. Everyone who comes here to visit us, whether it's from New York or Europe, UK, they always say they want to move here. Yeah. I need this. I m- must live here. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and make it happen. Yeah. Well, how many warm months do you have in Sweden? Warm. Warm, like above 70. We have uh, spring coming right now, coming mm-hmm. the spring. Then we have June, July, and August. It's summer. Then it's going to get cold again and snowy. So three months. Summer. How warm does it get, though? Uh, 20. 20, 25 Fahrenheit, degrees please. Uh, Fahrenheit. Celsius is like today here, but not the humidity you got. Okay. Yeah. Hamburg, why don't you read this? How funny will that be? <laughs> here. Just read our sponsor. Yeah, re- read Bang Medible's little thing. Let's get that out of the way, but we'll figure we'll have. The <laughs> Misfits are pleased to welcome Bang Medibales to our podcast. <laughs> Bang Medibales is virtually a dispensary which offers support for all your wellness needs. Please visit them at www.bangmedibales.com where they <laughs> add new stock weekly. Perfect. Very nice. Good again. job. That's B H A N G Medibles.com. We're also gonna Canada. Also gonna thank Dr. Tony Huge, an enhanced athlete, first sponsor. Thanks for your education, Dr. Yeah. Huge. Go to their um, your inspiration and to know a real man do trannies. Anabolic anabolic TV. You get all your information there. What's in your teeth up here? Is that is that that tobacco shit? Smooth. No, I have it right in the front. <laughs> yeah, usually it. you put it off to the side. Yeah, I switch it because I don't want to lose my teeth. Be- before 50 years old. I think he might be late. It's a Swedish tobacco called Snus. Okay. Jay Masters had a piece of meat stuck in his teeth. He said it was bigger than Dale Chance's whole body. <laughs> <laughs> and also, would you like to uh, introduce my sponsor, who gives me excellent liver cleaners and protein of many different types. And as you see, I'm still here. New World Nutrition. Yes, and I'm totally totally best bulk way protein.com. Every type of protein known to man, easily digestible, no bloating. And I sock away two drinks a day of 100 grams each. Jesus. That's 200 grams, which is part of my total amount, which is six to 800 grams per day. I take 800 grams in on training days, about 600 grams of protein in on training days through six meals a and day. It goes all to your stomach. Did you say you eat 800 grams of protein yes. per day? Yes. 200 from New World Nutrition's way I saw okay. it. I want to mention uh, Stashco, stashcompany.com, promo code BIGBRAD, all caps, for, you, for your beard oil, which Kenny's got to send me some for Leonard because we got to get you, that beard right. You know how when you whack off to a video on Pornhub, you just fast forward through the first 10 minutes? People are going to start doing that on the podcast. <laughs> They're just going to stop listening to the first five minutes because they know we're just whoring. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay bills. Yeah. <laughs> so but I took him to the old world gym before I brought him over here. What'd you think? He got to peek into it. I got nostalgic. Um, to I like seeing the Mecca. In Was there anything yeah. in there? Yeah, I saw the, saw the front desk that I usually have seen in your videos. It's look great. But uh, you need to move in there. And you didn't see any equipment? No, no equi- 
We're working on that as we speak, getting that place open and running again, according to our specifications. It's going to take a lot, but we'll figure it out. But it needs to be done. I agree. Go out and get it and do it. That's what life's all about. (laughs) Really enjoyed the training today, Hamburg. Yeah. Yeah, What happened to your biceps? You started cramping up in the middle of... Both biceps cramping at the end. Uh, I didn't know what happened, but uh, no, it's, I'm fine. Okay. This humidity will suck the yeah. life out yeah. of Yeah. And it has, and this finally kicked in, and it'll be getting stronger. Yeah. And I'll be out there training into it, ready for the 2018 Ruby, which Dale Chance is not tentatively not doing. <laughs> he doesn't got the guts, I'm going to keep saying it over and over again. To show you what kind of phony this guy is. I'm not putting on any stops. You know he's got two more surgical procedures. To yes. Make. Two sexual reassignments. <laughs> to a cock and a balls put on him. But I don't know if that's going to give him much chance against me. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I like you can have all chance. the surgeries he wants. I'll dwarf him on stage. Bigger and harder. The minute we mentioned Dale in the gym today. It's amazing. Lenny just fucking snapped. Yes, and I'm going to snap all the way till the ruby. Dale is Leonard's freak. biggest motivator. It's great. Yeah, It's fucking when great. When Dave Palumbo sends that RX muscle crew there, and Dale's up in somewhere in Hicktown hiding, chewing some tobacco, you know, he'll think he'll regret not doing the ruby. So go to your doctor's visit. He can't, visits. you fucking asshole. There's He's no going to get two more as, surgeries. There's no such thing as can't. You're right. He could step on stage after those surgeries and still get placed in front of Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Dale could not work out for two years and still place better than Jason. And you, probably, for that matter. I'll be bigger and harder than him no matter what. Guarantee it. So, Hamburg, what's, uh, you've been here now for almost a week. What's the, the biggest difference between Sweden and the United States? The climate. The, climate. <laughs> or the weather, of course. And, uh, yeah. But, the, but besides the weather, because obviously, I mean, Florida between the months of November and April, it's great. Yeah. What else? What one thing stands out as something that just not that isn't necessarily better, but that strikes you as very different? You're more spoken out here about things like uh, supplements in the training business and um, oh yeah that's w- what's on my mind you talk about uh, training supplements openly yeah testosterone and like that you can't you can't yeah, go yeah. ahead Leonard, go ahead. no you read my mind yeah. say it you can't speak about that in Sweden? No, 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 no. You you can speak about it, but if you take something like testosterone or something, it's illegal. Even if it's prescribed? You can't get it described. You Doctors want won't prescribe it? Are you I, kidding me? I, re- I want to check my blood levels for testosterone, but uh, I went to the doctor two times. They won't check it. Are you kidding me? And I pay from my salary uh, every month to get... Yeah. The Who need in the doctor. hell is running that country? Uh, and I'm telling them I'm tired, I'm this, I'm that. No, they don't check it. We you don't do this. You're, you're 42. Yeah. A perfect age Yeah, yeah. to start. Well, you mean. Don't they understand the heart protective effects of that? Yeah. And the pro- cardiovascular. And prostate. Yes, when yeah. your testosterone's low, you, you're on a short road to death. Yeah. But uh, that's unfathomable. Yeah. I thought you guys were a progressive, intelligent country. They check it when you're almost finished, when you are uh, <laughs> <laughs> progressive in letting you rest. When the ambulance is right? get, getting you, maybe. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Maybe if you were a refugee, you'd get free testosterone. Yes. What's with the refugees over there? I hear stories on the radio about mass immigration. Is that true? Yeah. Wait a minute about the immigrations. I want to clarify something first about the, this testosterone. We have separate parts of the country where we have, is it called uh, counties here in US? Counties, have, yeah. Yeah, we have uh, like commune, it's called in uh, Sweden. And maybe there are other 
counties in Sweden, they're, they're checking the testosterone more than where I live. So I can tell for the whole country, Sweden. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let me get this straight. I would imagine from hearing that your country is people that have lived there for generations. Yeah. But the other part seems like maybe the immigrants are getting the high quality care and they're trying to phase you guys out. Well, it's just like in America where some states marijuana is legal and some aren't. Some states it's not. Yeah. But with the testosterone, I don't understand why. Yeah. It's it's like a drug there. Oh God! It's a man. Don't, aren't you guys a big hockey strongman country? I mean, you have gyms yeah. over there, right? Yeah, yeah. Is there com- any competitive bodybuilding contests? Yeah, and everybody know it. Everybody use it at every competition. Yes, if, if they standard. say no, they are liars. Everybody. Well, we you know we all know that, and that's all well and good, but. I understand that Tony Freeman got arrested doing a guest posing appearance in Sweden all about five or ten years ago. Yeah. Some beyond suspicion of using it because of the size of him and the leanness. Yeah. Only on the look at the size they took him. They arrested him because he was big and they thought he used tests and PEDs. Is that I don't know correct? if they arrested him, but they took him took him questioning. in for questioning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he- hearing. I get it. Yeah. Huh. So in other words, a Genova who's a human pin cushion because he doesn't show anything, they leave him alone. <laughs> I actually ran into him. I ran into him in a female bartender, and I don't know who had softer skin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what? Jason, you can laugh, J- Hamburg. It's okay. Jason, okay. Uh, you don't have to the c- steroids have like a reverse effect on Jason. And I'm wondering, he indiscriminately injects things people send him. Is somebody sending them estradiol or estrogen? Maybe pure estrogen. And oh, I hope this guy we, grows we, himself a pair of breasts. And because he was walking and swaying and shimmying and uh, yeah, very bizarre. Jay Masters pointed out earlier. Yeah. Well, he walks like he's got a corn cob rammed up his ass. Does he know what really yeah. take, taking well, stuff? Well, stuff. Who knows if it's good Since or people not? People send it all the time. He I says he inject. does. I don't. Yeah, who the fuck? So, if I'm an anonymous, eject something. Someone gives me anonymous. That's for sure. No, no. I mean, listen. You can if. It, that it, he doesn't pass the eye test. <laughs> you know what to say. Right. He's take, I haven't seen him in maybe. Two to three weeks, more like three weeks, and we saw him in LA Fitness today, and I, that's got to be the. I worst. didn't see him lift a I, damn weight the whole got, time. Did got, you? That's got to be no, the. No, he didn't. Did he even lift anything? No, he didn't. He wasn't there to work out. He was just coming to socialize. Yeah. That's what he does. Jeez, he's got nothing else to do. So, what a life! No responsibility. Just wander around aimlessly, and hopefully somebody recognizes you, so you can extort him for a fucking. You hear that, Dale? Is that what you're trying to pull up there? Suck it, with dude. your excuses. <laughs> Jay Master saying that. What was he saying? Suck a dick. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Ooh. Jay Masters. Every time he podcast you say that. So who have you met? You met me, Brad, Lenny, Jay, Jason. Koth Andrew. Koth Andrew the yeah. other night we were out. I heard he's a fellow Swede. Yeah. So Koth almost Andrew. everyone. He's a fucking giant right now. Jeez, what does he do? what did he say he weighs now? Two forty five. On that frame? Yeah, so lean. Big. Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's a lot of muscle. Yeah, he could win the room. Well, good for him. Yeah, because he's got he doesn't have the he's got good legs too. Stay the hell out of that men's bikini, coat. Yeah, he doesn't need to do that. No, he doesn't. You're right. Nah. he could he could legit enter the bodybuilding for sure. He could take it as far as he wants to. Once mm-hmm. he keeps, you know, six meals a day. His quads train. are fucking huge. Hell, he front yeah. squats over three sixty five yeah. for ten. Yeah, perfect form. He, can I ask Lenny one thing? Absolutely. Why didn't you like Koth Andrew uh, competing in the man's physique? You Go. compete, you get on stage, that's it. You're a you're a man. And when you're a man, you go all out to show muscle. You're a ma- yeah. That's when you're a man, building. you go all out and wear women's fucking bikini bottoms, right? Like <laughs> Leonard. But it's nice. Yeah. You, you don't let another to, man piss in your exactly. mouth. Exactly. You don't have to do legs. <laughs> you talk right. about yeah. Yeah. right. You take an easy way out. It's a gutless way to go out. <laughs> okay. Not like me. I do all the manly things. Well, you don't have legs. You probably should compete. In I your was life. told Hamburg. You want to. 
Go up there and wear. You want to shorts. explain what you noticed during my leg workout today about my legs? I couldn't. I. No. Your weight. You have pounds here. We have kilo. Right. So I don't know. There were plates everywhere on your fucking. Uh, Ele- he, he had eleven plates on each side of the leg. So more. 20, 20, 22. Up. Yeah. Twenty-two Both plates. Levels. Yeah. How much? Times forty-five. All I know is. I do, I do more weight in kilos than Dale does in pounds. I am if, impressive. If you get my drift. <laughs> You've got stripes in your You hear quads. that, Dale? Yes. <laughs> Is this the quads? Yes, yeah. sir. So do you. Yeah. yeah not, I have Leonard's hallucinating a de- again. So Dale. do you. <laughs> so do who? And at least I shave my legs. I saw that Instagram shot of Dale's hairy legs. Yeah, his legs are still huge. They're huge. Yeah. Yeah, for he's a small, short, stubby guy. You put a tape measure to both of our legs, I'm bigger than him. Dale? Like how he says that measure. He looks <laughs> smaller than me. He's softer than me. Cornelius is softer than me. He's another one that wants to do it in 2019. But like I said, I'll be on the Olympia stage next year. What about guys. Cornelius' wife's underwear? Yeah. What's about that? <laughs> hey, you know, I did, I, I'm waiting on him. And I hopefully I got some gifts today. I hope they're in a nice plastic bag. Just, and I hope they were taken right off her after one of her leg workouts. Just so you know, nothing will get past Hamburg. You've watched every single Delray Misfit episode how many times? Three or four times. But no I know shit. three. Yeah. yeah. I'm honored to yeah, sit man. next to you. Yeah. That's, That's good entertainment. A true I mean. maniac. Yeah. King of the maniacs, Hamburg. How about that? <laughs> we'll I feel I you. am the same as you guys. You, well, you just you can live be. and want well, to live and Say what you want, and yeah. We'll definitely get you on board for that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, why not? <laughs> you hear that, Dale? <laughs> Is anybody going to see you, sponsor you? But I think Instagram and you, unless they're insulting you. Next competition, Dale is going to do, I think he's going to be a huge monster. I think that. And I think you inspire him. Talking like this? Yes. Yeah, he need that. Yes, I he think. does. He needs his butt whooped. <laughs> <laughs> they motivate each other. Yeah. We, we've always said that. The yeah. shit talking is it's that is how these two guys yeah. motivate each other. But they have two operations left, so at least minimum. Yeah. How many operations have you had, Leonard? Cookie cutter operations, <laughs> and I'm off all my meds. I've been off the beta blockers for two months. I went off the blood thinners a month ago. I was told don't do that. You get a high risk for stroke. Really? Yeah. I am, I'm alive and well, pal. For now. Squatting, <laughs> working. I don't know about well, but you're alive. Riding a bike, yeah. leg pressing. You won't make it to the 2019 Ruby. Yeah, yeah I'll be at the do. Olympia. <laughs> yeah, in your, in your uh, imaginary heaven with Christina. That's where you'd <laughs> fucking be in the Olympia. <laughs> yeah. Up in there in the clouds with the guy with the big white fucking beard, right? Well, that's the best place to be. <laughs> Me as a follower, uh, when I saw Lenny today, he was bigger and more separated legs than I have seen on the YouTube. Yeah. And what do you uh, think about that, Jesus. Dale? <laughs> I'm, I am impressed. Thank you. Really? You what? impressed with Dale? Yeah, I am impressed of Dale too. But in what way? Nice guy. We nice talk- guy. Yeah. That's it. No physique. Yeah. No mad. Just a nice guy. A nice little Such cookie cutter. A fucking prank. But from this, when you have dinner at Brad's place on an episode on YouTube, he was big, and then he got coming ripped as fuck on this competition. That's impressed. It was, but small as fuck too, unfortunately. Yeah, but he's learning. Yes. Yeah. I have never done a competition, so I don't know. You're not allowed to. They'll lock you up over there. Yeah, yeah, you have no a legitimate shit. excuse. <laughs> I can do it, but it's... They'll execute you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. But it's coming there. Yeah. It's coming. They. Uh, it's now. Oh, it's not coming. You know what's great about this and having him here? What other TV show or something that people follow can uh, a fan of that show... Who lives on the other side of the planet? Fly over here and become a participant in in the show. Think about it. Thank you. I heard you know, Dale tried to get on think, the show Friends. I think that's one of and the they th- prohibited <laughs> from his idols. 
I think that's one of the things people like about what we do and attracts them to, to our shit show is that they can actually come here, meet us, become a participant, and interject themselves into it if they're clever enough to know how to do it. It, you flew here, here you are. You're yeah. on our podcast. Yeah, we don't yeah. discriminate right. as much as people yeah. think we do. Right. We don't. Anyone, no. anyone who comes here yeah, wants to be welcome. Hang yeah. out. Become. We even had porch monkeys came here. And I noticed when the porch <laughs> monkey was here, Kimbo the cat didn't make any appearances. That was very You're interesting. talking about Curtis? Oh, yeah. Leonard. <laughs> Where was Kimbo the cat? He, he did probably not come thought out. he was a Haitian that was going to fucking cook. There him. you go. <laughs> When Andre Kalura was here, the Kimbo come out directly. Yeah, right, right away. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the aura, the presence. And he begin. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I like how he does. I love those cat videos. God bless him. He hasn't been posting as much lately. He's because he's getting he's getting himself back into. Oh. Wow! Did you training. see the be- uh, squat squatting? Yeah. yeah. Perfect form. Yeah. He's a, him and Brad have perfect form on the bench and squat. I think him coming down here. It, it motivated him to get start lifting seriously. And it motivated yeah. other people. He's got a lot of fans. Yeah. He gives a unique approach it, to it. It injected life into him. I really think it did. Well, yeah, because he, he thinks Came about down what, for he, a what reason. he used to do and what he's capable of yeah. and wants to get back there. And I don't blame him. But he, he did. Never, he, he left He, he left never things. really had any major injuries except for that hernia. He tore right? a pec. Oh, he did? He was on, let me tell you a story about that. He was on an antibiotic called Leviquin. I forget what he was being treated for, but... Ooh, that'll make you tear a tendon. It will, and the doctor didn't know it at the time. His dog's name is Dr. Natovitz, by the way. Didn't Cornelius t- tear yeah, something? Yes, he did. That's what, he was on antibiotic. Well, I mean... But Andrew was repping five plates as he normally did. Heard a pop, had black and blue marks. He, he, Luckily, he didn't sever the tendon. Why is that? He, he, I, probably because it sucks the water out of you, he, dehydrates he, you. Neither of them can prove that's what caused a tendon to tear. But I, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, 2008. Ciprofloxin, which is another drug linked to tendon tears, primarily Achilles tendon tears. Uh, um, in 2008, Cipro had to start putting it on their warning label about the possibility of a tendon tear. If you're I thought it. you had a tendon tear. Did the maniacs so know about I. your condition? It's uh, an anti-inflammatory. We, no, they're what? antibiotics. No, it's an antibiotic. What in the antibiotic makes you susceptible to tearing? I, I, I don't know. I, don't know. I would say the dehydration. The, some doctors won't even prescribe Cipro because of that. And this yeah. doctor told Calora, no, that's poppycock, he said. That was the term he used, poppycock. And he goes and tears a damn tendon. Fucker. Does, does, he'll never be able to prove that there's a link between the antibiotic and the tendon tear. Right. But right. it has been proven that Cipro and the other one, the one he was on, can lead. All e- those even medications. months after you take it, it's still in your system. No shit. Everybody look online. There's doctors that lecture about every single medication on demand about the side effects, and I believe them. And I got off those blood thinners, and here I am. Well, you, you watch the television now, and the commercials are all, you know, prescription medications, and mm-hmm. they're these nice, well-done, you know, they put a lot of money into those fucking commercials, and then at the end, they, they read off all the side effects. Yeah. Anal bleeding, yeah, have fucking to buy ulcers. Yeah. Dementia, fucking suicidal thoughts. Like, okay, yeah. why the fuck would I want to take that if it, those are the possible yeah. side effects? Covering their ass in a lawsuit, but still, and making they make money. so much. It doesn't matter. It doesn't deter people. That's how yeah. stupid we are. Yes, you'll still cutters. take them even though you you risk the chance of. But all you those can't get effects. testosterone in Sweden. The you pro- can get yeah. it, but yeah, the thing is, with a drug with an antibiotic like Cipro, there really aren't many other viable alternatives. That. Cipro is an antibiotic that treats very specific forms of bacteria. So I understand Cornelius had an issue with a certain type of medication. Possibly. You mean the antibiotic? What antibiotic specifically did he take? The, the same one, Calora. What was it called? Leviquin? Yeah, I, I think that's what uh, Cornelius said. I think. He can certainly suspect that's what may have contributed to well, it. Well, you look but at two, cannot, two guys right there, two can, young guys. Can't prove it, though. Can I ask Lenny one thing? You can ask me anything, yeah. and I will always give an honest answer. Just ask him. You don't even have to say that. I'm a caring man, and I want to ask you one thing. Yes. From the beginning, why did you get blood thinners? Well, when you get an upper uh, procedure called, uh, when you've had a heart arrhythmia, the prescribed course of, you have to thin your blood, according to the doctors. Yeah. And then when you have the... Uh, this thins your blood. Yeah. alcohol. A lot of things do. <laughs> uh, as far as, uh, what do they call that heart? I, I, I don't even remember the cookie cutter oh. terms, but they say that's a must for when you have a, 
this type of procedure and yeah. this and that. And you can't, doctor said, you cannot go off it. You cannot go For off For the rest it. of your life. Until, yeah, basically is what he's telling me. And I went off it, and here I am. Yeah, here you are, but... You want to tell me what I'm taking with it? I'm taking my 24 mg of test a week, 900 <laughs> mg of DECA, oh, 900 mg of Equipoise, yeah. multiple SARMs. I'm taking 100 mg Dynabol pre-workout, and I'm taking 350 mg tablets of Terinabol a day, GH. But can you check, check the blood thinner so you are okay and safe? Now, when you have quit... I, Feel, I feel no difference. And yeah. First of all, I my mental, mental thing is if you start listening to that and you start going to the doctors, it creeps up on you. Okay. Stay away from their negative feelings. It's just not worth it. Do your own research. Obviously, if I had an infection, yes, I would take an antibiotic or something along those lines. But when they tell you this stuff, I just I think I was misdiagnosed twice. You're, you are your own doctor. Right. And then this, <laughs> yes. Yeah, basically. If you're taking too much and you're yeah. having problems like with trend, you eliminate or cut the dose. Well, that, you only you know what your body responds to, you know, because you're the only one that can feel what you're fucking feeling. So if he knows that something is not reacting you, well, he's not going to take it or he will take yeah. it, you know. But he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. And you can't, He'd rather be dead yeah. than not be big. You can't feel everything, what's happening in your blood system. That's what I mean. Yeah. Best thing to do is sleep good, drink a lot of water, eat six meals a day, predominantly protein, eat healthy fats, Mr. Miyagi. get out there and train, I was thinking the get same out thing. there at work, yeah. and think of yourself as 18 forever, That's funny. and you don't need this crap. Placebo effect. Yeah. Not necessarily placebo effect, because you take some damn Dianabol, you're going to get fucking big and strong. You could swear up and down it's not working, but it works. I also think if you believe in something, it, it works. I, yes. I believe it's it's something with yes. the mind. It's called yeah, the tower of suggestion. Yeah. Too much yeah, mind absolutely. poisoning from day one, especially yeah. in the schools. Yeah. The schools, the churches, the counselors, the Cub Scouts, the Boy Scouts. What's your equivalent of the Swedish Cub Scouts over there? Club Scouts. Yes. What's that? It's a little <laughs> bunch of boys. We're all in it. You wear like, it's like a... Military... Somewhat, They yeah. take you into the... They teach you survival skills yeah, in the woods, sh- how to start yeah. a fire, build a tent. All the team, they used to. Now the fat fucks don't even want to go out there and do that. Right. Yeah, it's called... I I think it's called Hemvernet. Or the Scouts. What's that, also. Hitler Youth? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boy Scouts, yeah. Yeah. I don't know anything about it, but... Yeah. Were you a Boy Scout, Leonard? I was a Cub Scout. I didn't make it that long. Oh, no shit. I remember my father went to one of the meetings. That's when it, it stopped. Boys running around in this church cafeteria. We had a scout meeting. And the leader of the scouts was some hippie that put his hands up in the air and gave the peace sign, which everyone was supposed to be quiet and get to order. My father's sitting there looking around. Kids are still running around, tackling each other, throwing shit, not sitting down. And my father's looking at the guy. He's got B.O. stains underneath his arm, holding his hands up like that. He goes, let's get the hell out of here right now. (laughs) Some damn hippie going like that, expecting kids to give me a fucking break. (laughs) With his B.O. stains. Sweat stains. Yeah. (laughs) Expecting order. Shit. What you do is grab one of them and throw them against a fucking wall. I guarantee everyone will sit on real quick. <laughs> yeah. But you can't do that. Yeah, you have a lawsuit against you. <laughs> there we go. Well, what are you going to do, Leonard? I'm going to be a 18 forever. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to be a freak at the Ruby. I'm going to be three times as big as Dale Chance and harder. Four days, you're going to be 48 years old. 48 years young. 18 forever. Don't even go that. I never knew your birthday was so close to mine. Very close. Yeah, a few days apart. (laughs) That's great. Hamburger, grab two more Heinekens. Yeah. Whoever gets... Yeah. No, no snooze. No, not opening. Yeah. This guy with the chewing tobacco, he he brings me and Andrew two containers. He's like, it's going to make you dizzy and throw up. 
Said, well, yeah. I'm not going to take it. <laughs> sign, sign me up, please. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm sure Dale Chance would appreciate some tobacco. Yeah, he's been chewing tobacco since he was six. It shows. <laughs> And he he does a ruby this year. By God, he'll be eating crow. Guarantee it. Okay. How do you say thank you in Swedish? Tack så mycket. That's too long. I tack. 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 Tack så mycket. Tack. Thank you very much. You say tack så mycket. So how do you say where are the trannies? No. <laughs> They're up on Palm Beach Lake and Dixie Highway tonight. Transvestite. Late night. Late night, the freaks Lenny, come out. can you say transvestite? <laughs> transvestite. Uh, I don't like those cookie cutter terms. <laughs> I'll call them trannies. I'll call them girls. I'll call them sheacocks. You know. Sheacocks? Call them freaks. When did sheacock come around? Never heard yeah. of sheacock. No. Jesus Christ. No thanks. With these beautiful teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we have some we have some gifts to open up here. Yeah. From another generous fan. You hear that, business. Dale? Are you getting gifts? Are you getting sponsorship? We gotta give a shout out to Crazed. <laughs> You're getting tons of Instagram fans. Are you getting a bunch of hecklers? And trolls. So, look. This one has Big Brad and Prince Andrew on it. This is from Crazed Vapor. I'm going to get a package in here for Leonard. Let's see what it is. Thank you. There's one in here for Jason, too. Here. Should have said something to Emma. Doesn't she love all this shit? Yeah, right. All right. Thanks. What is it? Red Mangda. Kratom capsules. Thank you. I don't have to suck that vile crap well, down now. I can suck down the pills. Thanks a lot. You want me to read this? You want to read it? Yeah, read that. You can read it. <clears throat> What's this, Brad? An anal sex toy? I think that's a crack pipe. <laughs> oh. It looks like one. <laughs> what do I do with this? Save it for the trannies. Look, he wrote us a letter. He's going to... From Gene B. Thanks, Gene. I have been a misfit maniac for quite some time now, and I am an avid consumer of mints. You guys have inspired me to not give a fuck and say whatever I want. Please stay in the gym and stay menti. And mostly to Lenny, please fucking stay alive. You hear that, Lenny? Stay yeah. alive. I agree. At 18 forever, I'll be alive before all you guys will be fucking kissing, dead, pushing up daisies. You guys are a major inspiration to maniacs across the world. I listen to the podcast, and I am sick of only hearing about Lenny getting gifts. I think it's time to change that, so I have included something for everyone, including this, including the piss lord himself, Janoy Cruz. Oh, that was nice. For Brad and Andrew, I have enclosed some items to enjoy whenever you want to smoke that creepy stuff. Wow. I would never. Also, and also some items to enjoy Florida's growing medical marijuana products. What are you saying? I have also sent a recipe for filling up cartridges and pods. For Lenny, I have enclosed some mint pills and a crack pipe. Holy shit, wow. you were right. <laughs> I'm sure he will need the crack pipe for his newfound career hunting trannies for all of us. M-A-G-A. -A, that means make America great again. Oh, my God. Thanks. I've also enclosed some sickening things for Janoy Kresva. Yeah, we'll throw those out. <laughs> You don't, just kidding. You don't have to read my company's name or website on the air. However, if you want to, be my guest. I'll do it. Uh, this was just a sincere little gift for the gods that provide us all men. Sincerely. I'll put that on my bike. Gene B from crazedvapor.com. Crazed you. Vapor. Thank you, Gene. Thanks for the Kratom. Look at that fucking thing. Whoa. <laughs> That's a dildo rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Here, bend over, yeah. Hamburg. Guess again, Hamburg. Who fucking... That's a... Uh, That's nice. Pipe. Also. This will tickle your prostate. You'll be good to go. <laughs> Look at this. Bring it to the uh, Memorial Day picnic. Load that fucker up right now. That's what I'm about to <laughs> <laughs> That was nice. Good looking. Yeah. Right on. Oh, bless you. 
You just fucking fart over no. there? No. Hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, we that got we got something for Jason. Yeah. Should we just open it? Nah, fuck it. <laughs> we'll leave it for him. Give it to him, we see him. One fan in Sweden also sent me at the airport when yeah. I met him, Patrick Persson. Uh-huh. Here you can open it's for Brad. Any relation to Lenny for me? Yeah, you too. For me, Actually, that's a good question. Yeah. You're gonna love it. Uh, you can. I know what it is. Oh. And be- begin to use it at the gym. <laughs> Fucking jump rope. <laughs> 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 Great. <laughs> he, uh, he know it, Brad, we don't use just to strangle people. Why don't you and I do some synchronized jump roping on Thursday morning? Oh my god. I tell you what, if you weren't gonna jump rope with it, I like to be tied up by a tranny and violated with that rope. Uh, oh we can save sake. it for that. Save it for the world day picnic. If I know I was <laughs> going to be on the podcast, you you have already Brad and Andrew have got their gifts from me. But now I giving Lenny my gifts. Well, that's very generous I, of you. I don't know if you like it, but I think you will like it. I like anything. Because I wasn't, believe me, I didn't have much growing up on purpose. Are you getting any Le- gifts, Dale? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not cool. Used to get- oh, cool. A oh, nice Jay Cutler <laughs> DVD. The Cookie Cutler. Hey, it's big. There's some, some size there. Something else Seven for you hours. to jerk I off I never to saw this. How, how we live, eat, train. Thank you. I never saw this. Thank yeah. you. Did not see it before. Thanks. Lenny, do you have a DVD player? Yeah. Okay, good. And this book I never read before either. Thank you. See uh, Muscle, it, Jay it's Cutler. It's signed by Jay Cutler. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he just smelled it. He just sniffed the signature. I don't know Ooh, what happened here in this weather. Look at this page here. Why are those pages stuck together? Oh, that's quite all right. <laughs> yeah. Books are for Hamburg reading and absorbing. Out a great book collection. Thank you, Hamburg. Very yeah. inspirational. No problem. I mean, you can't ignore a guy this size. He's three times as big as Dale Chance. I always wonder, why can't Dale Chance get as big as Jay Cutler? You know, what's the difference in there? Because he doesn't have the well, discipline. Not going to speed limit doesn't help either. <laughs> 45. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, no welcome. Especially see your muscle. Yeah, that's good. Yes. And Jay Cutler, I think, is back taught by the mad about scientist. About his uh, early wife. Bob you know? Gruskin. Yeah. yeah, I heard he left his wife. He started doing ecstasy. But <laughs> Jay, big football player like yeah. Lou. That's shredded. Look at that. Yeah. Thank you very much. No problem. Perfect form. Jay never got injured. Healthy to this day. Made money. Talk about an all man and a freak. Yeah. You can't say this guy's a pretty bear or a cookie cutter or anything like that. You can read it at night or hate it at night. Thank you very much. Yeah. I do most of my reading on the toilet, which yeah. Andrew Kalora said don't do. It's a good way you can get hemorrhoids. But Yeah. You can sit more than seven minutes. Always have toilet coming. reading material or your your phone. You could always learn something every day. Get out there and learn. On the internet, it's great. Did you know that, Brad? More than seven minutes on the toilet pressing gives you hemorrhoids. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Well, you don't press the whole time you're on the toilet. No. It's seven minutes, you should be done. When yeah. you say pressing, you mean pushing. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but then again, if you're looking at the internet or reading a book, you're sitting on twenty so, yeah, minutes. You'll push out that That's first round good. of shit, then you'll wait three minutes for the next round, and then you'll yeah. wait another. Th- but sometimes it comes you sit so phases. long as your legs is sleeping. Yeah, like you're, you mean like in a Lethal Weapon when uh, yeah when Murtaugh is stuck yeah. on the toilet and yeah. there's a bomb. Yeah, <laughs> That's right. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I can't say that enough. No problem. Now, if I could look like Jay Cutler on my frame, look out. Your traps is bigger. One yeah. of your favorite bodybuilders. Our penises are probably the same. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to gather. <laughs> I want to get one of those Dale Chance posing trunk penis extensions that oh he's... Oh, my God. He had to make a patent on that. He'd make a fortune. Little hint there, Dale. Then he won't have to come crawling and begging people for sponsorship. One question for the Misfits. Uh, now when I see this DVD I gave to Lenny, I got the ID. Why aren't you doing how you're 
eat, sleep, train, and everything on a DVD or a Blu-ray. <laughs> aren't, those, aren't, yeah. aren't, aren't, aren't those obsolete you, you, right now? You do a DVD or a Blu-ray. Of what we eat, drink, take. How you work, how oh, you're meeting, it. and all this. So everybody can do the opposite. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, no, we're not experts, man. I, if you should release something like this, I, I will watch it and buy it maybe if Maybe if Lenny did. Yeah, Lenny. Cooking, eating, training. How to go to the gym for 10 how years. How you do the podcast and everything. And not make gains by Andrew. Like a documentary. Yeah. We need, we yes. need uh, Bravo Andrew, to come Andrew, you need to know all the secrets up. now, and you're doing well. Thanks, Lenny. Getting bigger at your age. Thanks. Simple. You want gains? First of all, back it up nutritionally. Sleeping, of course. Progressively heavier weight on the basics. And then if you're a certain age, get on some hormones. Presto, gains just like everybody else. Everyone's the same physiologically. If that wasn't the case, we couldn't perform medical science wouldn't really exist we couldn't perform surgeries and things like that but everyone's basically the same yeah but kid says they can't grow eat more not. eat more eat pizza eat calories eat protein eat fats are you trying to say that i if i wanted to could eventually bench press as much as jay not at your age i don't think it's after a we certain age but you can definitely put 150 Possibly more pounds on your bench but we're two, if you wanted to. Two completely different body types. I'm an that's ect- true. I'm an ectomorph, and he's built like a refrigerator. I don't go by the soma types anymore because you can make yourself. I mean, there's a case of a of Italian bodybuilder that moved to New York. I think he was 115 pounds when he came to New York, and he's like five three now. I think he's he's one of fact me fact Barak's pupils, which fact me Barak is probably one of the greatest trainers on the planet. Freak himself turn anyone to a freak so and i think if you're on gear if you're on gh that overrides the, the i mean what is a body you know you eat a certain way you're going to get fat and people call you an ectomorph you know i think there's less and less that's less and less of a variable as we move into like you know dave palumbo with bodybuilding without genetics i mean you take a guy like him who wasn't at the so-called best genetics was one of those heaviest muscle people on the planet but I definitely think all of us could put on close to 100 pounds more muscle if we really wanted to and follow through with it. Yeah, and the- Not saying everyone wants that, but it's possible. Yeah, but to maintain that is just fucking... Lenny? Of course it is with the frequent eating. Lenny, yes, sir. I want to read a message to you from Lou. He just sent me a text. Actually, you got the same text. It's in the group text, so, so you'll, uh, you'll see it. Yeah. By, Len- the, by the way... Yeah. This fucking group text that we're in between me, you, Andrew, Lou, and Andrew Kalora is fucking hysterical. Yeah, I know. I'm at work if getting pe- these texts. It's could, great. If people could see the shit we're texting each other. <laughs> well, they're pick- you have no idea. When we're there picking, it's going to be group just, sex, too. Check your phone, Lenny. You'll see it. Yeah. He's giving you some friendly advice. I like him in a football uniform. Ultimate warrior. I want to hear the stories about the warrior and Kerry Von Erich, Lou, down at the Cruise and Liquor Stand. Was that the tornado? The guy named Texas the tornado? Texas Tornado, yeah. yeah. Killed I himself. I saw that picture of him and the warrior. And him. Yeah. Lou is that Bitcoin guy. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Did you want to read? I'm sorry. Go ahead and read no, it. I'll, let, I'll let Lenny read it on his, on his phone. Lenny got the text. He'll see it. If Lenny can work his phone. Look. <laughs> Taking him out of Kearney. <laughs> <laughs> They take me. I hope they take me on a stretcher because you can rest assured and look carefully at Christina's spirit coming down. Yeah. Look carefully. Mm-hmm. Look carefully because you're not going to see nothing. But a little fucking dyke bitch. That hey, whoa, on. whoa, whoa, Brad. Whoa. Dyke bitch. Whoa. <laughs> I, heard she, I heard she was gay anyway. What are you worried she about? She is not. Actually, it, it, never mind, because you don't look at her You know what, way. if she does... You look at her like... It, I don't like those not, not as a sexual she's, a freak. Freak. she's some pussy, she's a freak. You got something against girls yeah, she, eating pussy? Oh, well, right, exactly. You suck dick, so hey. Damn right I do. <laughs> 
hamburger's going to start moving. Away. No. No. He, he knows. Actually, you just move closer. He knows what they're attached to. He knows what they're attached we to. We already know. He wants for, to fill your ear on his balls. He a- knows. Everybody know, knowing for years. And as su- sudden, the video was released. Did you see his porno? Did you yeah, watch Yeah, the it? whole one. Yeah, What yeah, did you yeah. think? <laughs> no. Uh... Did you watch that three times too? Like I all didn't, our YouTube videos? I didn't or? get a hard on. I didn't get a hard on. Well, that's, but That's reassuring. I was. You said you didn't get a hard on when no, you watched it? No, no, no. Well, your next one you will. Guaranteed. Yeah, I hope. The one we shoot yeah, at the yeah. picnic. Memorial Day. Please make yeah. it oh, yeah. happen. Memorial Day mints. And Brad wanted a dete- lie detector test too. The one where you attach as a yeah. device that you attach to the penis. And you'll show them pictures of naked men or trannies. Let's go. And it it'll on. measure the response down to a T. Measure. I want to see everybody get in it. And you know what's funny, Brad? Every time I look at tranny porn, and I look at this, Brad, I don't want to see it. That's right. What do you mean? You want? Why are you? I don't want to see it. Why would I? What want that tells to see me it? is he's getting aroused, and he hates. He doesn't like it about himself, <sighs> but he's getting aroused. And if you attach this device. He probably got a bigger heart on than I would. It's not the same. Much. Makes sense. Where can we get this device? It's online. How much is it? We can have a. What do, what, one what's it called? Well, you think it's somebody's going to send us one now? Yes. One of, the, one of the maniacs look up this device. It's that, made for fishing, I think. That measures <laughs> your you know, heart on response. And send it to Actually, me. Actually, a urologist. Please. Probably go up to Ducks, you know who, to up the road. I don't want to mention any names. But he probably has one. Who is this? Dr. Sabaro. Whoops, I mentioned a name. <laughs> <laughs> the urologist. Always count on Lenny to name name. Is this a decal? I think it's either so. a decal or a I'm going to put one on my bicycle. Wrap around this thing. <laughs> you fucking dope. We'll see who the dope what is. What are you obsessed with? What are you so afraid to watch it for? Because I don't want to. It doesn't uh, interest me. It's like who's but on you're first? Like going if nuts. I if I wanted to, I'd watch Here, it. Here, look. We're in my car Here. today. All he's doing is what, watching. Who, who tra- filmed it? Watching tranny porn as we're going Dude, to the gym to motivate. I was, I was looking at it on my phone. That yeah. shit. Brad's driving. Yeah, he's trying What's to show me videos while I'm driving. Number one, I don't want to see that shit. Andrew Kalor, I'm surprised at you on the group desk. He agrees with Lou's statement, not looking good. I thought your, I thought your thighs looked big at the gym. I don't think they're talking about my thighs. What I think the staggering after the set. Oh, well, they're not wrong about kind that. Kind of freaked them out. Some, uh, our friend Bravo. Yeah, I, I talked to him on the phone on the way over here. He told me the whole story. No shit. He had the, the cops on. The, I don't want to talk about it now, but yeah, right. uh, he, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Genova met us today at the uh, LA Fitness. Yeah. 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 I liked him a he lot. He came over. Yeah. You can't come here and not meet Jason. No. It's a once in a lifetime chance. He didn't ask me for dinner. Or because anything. we were there. Right. Yeah, he know. Yeah, well, because yeah. well, we're there. If we weren't yeah. there, he would have extorted you for Absolutely. everything you fucking Breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner. Yes. That's right. Yeah. He knows when he we're around. He, he knows when we're around, he's not going to get away with that oh. shit. He would have tried to sell you a watch, or this, or that. And after yeah. that, we got, we went to the Duffy's and eat burgers, oh, and I drink some beers, mm-hmm. and then we go to Jay Master's truck, and the pu- pu- pure, pure. That pour, was the pour. funniest shit when he dumped uh, that bottle of right piss. Right, I put, on my, I put it on my Instagram. You did. Sure, yeah, it was we were to see that. Oh, end up on YouTube. Don't. And worry. when I almost puked, his, his fucking piss. You really got sick. Yeah, yeah. Pittsburgh was legitimately sick. Yeah, <laughs> and Jay Masters, I have never seen him he, he laughing, so he cried uh, yeah. at his truck. I that was funny we because he made you him. sick. He loved. Yeah, that. we weren't expecting him to do that. Would have been funnier if he could grab it and somebody took a drink out of it. <laughs> if he told you that was Vera's piss, you would have drank it. Vera's got to come right from where, right from the source. I'll drink it again. It was delicious. <sighs> Get her back over there again. I'll do more than drink her piss. <sighs> well, what what else is there to drink? There aren't many other bodies. Blood, spit. Puke. What's matter? Are you okay? What's wrong? <laughs> you forgot the main one. He sat there. I'm- that fucking pee from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he was dry heaving when he did that. Now he's starting to again. 
And just think, you're sitting next to the guy who drank it straight out of a dick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. but that was good. That was good. But that was fresh piece. Yes. But <laughs> does that make it? Does that make it? Does that make it better? Yeah, for you slip did, did Hamburg. You, did, 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 did you see that piece was Hamburg. Spr- splatter on the, Brad's legs? The fact that it was fresh ain't sweetening the deal. So no. I, <laughs> come on. Is that a Freudian slip? No. Fresh piece just, is also disgusting. Still. Just hold it under the sink. Lenny. When the piss come in your mouth, why the, the puke out. reflex doesn't happen. No, it tasted good. It was nice and warm and oh tasty. God. I like what I see. I like looking in her eyes when she did it. I got off on it. Yeah. And I'll do it again. I've done it before, and I'll do it again. Yeah. I remember the one in, on Broward Boulevard. She was a 10, 10, 10. She was the intermittent pisser, which she used to. She pissed in my face one time because I was sweating. And three minutes later, she pissed out a little more. Then four minutes later, she pissed out a little more. It went all over her floor and everything. Oh, oh my God. Right on Bob Broward and, if I'm not mistaken, 441 up in that area. Brad, I got you. I got you. Ah. Brad just spilled uh, beer on the floor. So, yeah. Hamburg Jr., do you have anything to say? I understand you're a famous guitarist in Sweden. No, not famous. <laughs> but you're going to be famous. Yeah, I want to. You have to think, you know, you're going to be. Yeah. Believe me, take it from a guy like me that's yeah. learned. There's yeah. no I if I want, so I'm going to try this. I'm going to. Yeah. Like I said, I'm going to be the biggest freak Just in bodybuilding. I'm the smartest man in the world. And I still think I can kick anybody's ass out there. That's Where good are the thinking. challengers? Very good thing. You're gonna, you're it going is. to. You know why? Because yeah. you're not a cookie cutter. Yeah, exactly. If you got I'm some <laughs> porch monkey out there making money for running his damn mouth, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you got someone like me who's a genius <laughs> that's really can back up what he says, that doesn't go to fashions like Rolly Winkler wearing the Vans and Sadiq <laughs> commenting on his Vans tennis shoes. That's all the more you could say about a freaky bodybuilder, Sadiq. I like your, you're really rocking it with the Vans. And Neil Hill, I lost all respect for you. You guys know how to dress. Lenny. Cookie cutter. What about these people uh, saying you're a racist? There's no such thing. No? Defi- if they could define the word, then I could see, I'll look into it. But that makes no sense whatsoever. What do you yeah. mean by that? That's- yeah. What do you mean by that? What do they mean? Yeah. Same in Sweden. You can tell your mind you're a racist directly. Yes. But we have soon election and we are going to... To me, a racist is someone like, say, for instance, you know, ethnic cleansers that want a certain group of people off the face of the earth. I, can, I call that a racist legitimately. Yeah. Who, who's that? To say I'm in that category... That's ridiculous. Who's on the ballot for the upcoming election in Sweden? What are the different parties? Social Democrats, moderates. It's uh, Swedish Nationalist, I think it's called. Uh, SD. Swedish Democrats. Swedish, Swedish Democrats. Which would be the party that wants to get rid of all the refugees? Swedish Democrats. Would so, you, yeah. Aren't they the nationalists, Swedish nationalists? Yeah, oh, something if, like let that. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Hamburg, and I appreciate an honest answer. What do yeah. you consider yourself? In the late fifth, fifth, five years, my mind has changed. I want the, the old Sweden back. The old Sweden. So you're a nationalist. Yes. That's usually how it happens. That's, and I am proud about it too. Yes. I want to live like my grandmothers did. Yes. And what uh, what they did like. Yeah. We can't uh, in the church. Do you think that's possible to go back to the way it was? Maybe 15, 20 years. No. It's it, going. it would take 15 to 20 years? You're fighting longer, too much you propaganda. Think longer. I, uh, maybe it's not too back. much propaganda. It's but not. 
Just they, like his country. It's they, not going back. They can do what they want, but I'm going to live like that anyway. I right. don't wait 15 years. I live it by the day. You're not allowed to have a gun over there, are you? No way. You're, you have, you're, you're done. You have no means of defending no, yourself. We have no crimes. Almost, yeah, in Stockholm, Gothenburg and the bigger no cities. Crimes. Yeah, we got crimes, but where we live, in the middle of Sweden, yeah. it's really safe. Yeah, it's calm, very calm. Yeah. yeah. So I take it there's not a lot of third world immigrants over that area. Yes, we got very much. Now. In Gothenburg? Yeah, there is very much, but... And there's no crime? Yeah, there is many crimes. And Malmo, in the south of Sweden, is very much immigrants. And there's no crime there? There's most yeah, of the crime, that's what yeah. I thought. But, yeah. How's your marijuana laws over there? Mariana is not allowed at all. And I wish it was to to treat medical, medical for cancer pa- patients. Yeah, just somebody told me a story. My today. mother died last year from cancer, and I wish I could bring her some. Bring her some. The doctor should be able to prescribe any drug that's FDA approved for any reason. If he feels it can do something, he should be allowed to prescribe it. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. what do they call that? Brimley's cocktail or whatever? You get a mixture of heroin, cocaine, meth, or whatever. They give it to severe cancer oh, patients. Sounds great. Over in the United <laughs> Kingdom. <laughs> that I don't like. It's too, it's too heavy, I think. Well, for severe pain. Yeah. I'm saying in situations like that. In the end, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can agree. What's that cocktail? Say that again. Brimley's cocktail. Brimley's cocktail? It's well, illegal in the United States. It's heroin, meth, oh, cocaine. Maybe not a few, maybe a few other things. But sure, that's not Kevorkian's cocktail? <laughs> Kevorkian, I think we did the same thing as a lethal injection. It's Whitney Houston's I believe, cocktail. I believe that, though, man. Potassium yeah, they, cyanide. They, there should be right. a legal place where you can go and... Commit suicide? Basically, yeah. Well, yeah. Why don't you be the executioner, Brad? Why don't they come to you and you can chop them For up? A, or shoot no, them? I don't want to chop. Lethal injection, that's it. Done. Yeah. Or a pill. There's Do- got to be a pill. Do- like- Dr. Kevorkian was so much more intelligent than his critics. Mostly, you know, the religious nuts who bashed him for what he did. He, he was just light years ahead in terms of just but on every single level. Kill himself... I mean, you have the means to do it right now. That's true, but at the you same time... You go in the time, bathroom, like, why, you why? put the hot water in the bathtub, and you slit your wrist. Yeah, but why go through that when you could just take a pill or an, an injection and, and be done? Well, I guess you could inject it with the hair. I think it may be too easy. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Like even blowing your brains out. If yeah. you want to do it... I don't know, that's a good question, but... Hey, if you're going to do it, you're going to do it. It's that simple. That's true. But I mean, at, at a certain age, like when, when, you know, people in their 80s, 70s, whatever, get dementia and shit and they can't, you know, they don't know what's what anymore. Well, I remember like what, there should be a doctor. It's like, all right. right. So they decide who lives and dies? Leonard, it's not even. It's, You're going to a bunch of a family fine does. Mind. Why would my, the family have to struggle through that? When, it, when my grandmother was going through dementia because she had Alzheimer's and she died in her mid-90s, she was so fucked up. For the last few years, I mean, I can tell you stories. She was out of the norm, but who's it, to say her body wasn't producing endorphins where she's just floating around high as a kite and enjoying herself? I'm telling you, if she could have had 10 seconds of clarity and see what she had become, what, what her brain had disintegrated into, I know her, she would have thrown herself out the window. Yeah, exactly. But Ten seconds of clarity. Think she, about it like right now, when you're of sound mind, you're right. you know, as much as you can be, actually. <laughs> like if I'm if like right now, if I'm if I live to eighty, ninety and I, I suffer from something like that, I'd want to be dead. I don't wanna I would right. never wanna put my my family through having to take care of yeah. me or see me like that. What about do you believe it's legal for a guy to say go to a Dr. Kravork if he got a prison sentence? What's the question? Say it again. That's a good if question. If a guy got a prison sentence mm-hmm. any and w- length of time. And would rather be dead. Or a death sentence. Does he have the right to? Well, I guess you could. But, I mean, a lot of the times they take you right from the courthouse knowing that you probably will kill yourself. And that's how You'll they do it. You'll be on suicide watch. Yeah, yeah, right. So you can't. Right. 
Now, is that a means of punishing people? Or if people want to die, save the taxpayers money? Because a lot of people, a lot of killers say, fuck it, I want to die. And it's actually hard for them to get the law passed. <laughs> Contact. It's, it's getting smoky in here. <laughs> hey, now we, we get dumber and dumber in here, just like you know who. But if you can take your life, we say you can get it medic- m- medically. Aren't they in the Bible saying you're going to hell? Where does it say that? I don't know. It I doesn't. How about, how about, how about but, fuck the Bible? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody who takes whoa, their Brian. lives Thank you, doesn't Brian. they There's became Very something. good information for the Bible. Matter of fact, famous comedian W.C. Fields, who wasn't a religious man by any means, said he was looking at the Bible and somebody said, hey, what are you doing? You, you religious? No, and he says, no, I just like to... Well, gets you know, me through a lot of life's loopholes. You loop know holes. what? Aesop's Fables has some great stories too, but I'm not living my life by Aesop's Fables. There you go. That's mean you can take a shortcut to heaven if you want when you are 20 years old. Who's heaven? Exactly. Never, who's, if, who's God? You, who's heaven? Do you understand what I mean? Sort are you of. coming to heaven if you're taking your life? Sort of. There's only one judge. Don't they and say? Don't, isn't that in the in that in your favorite book? Doesn't it's you're in purgatory if you commit suicide or something? Yeah. That's what he used to teach us at Catholic Church. That's right. why I'm not a Catholic anymore. My father was against that too. He but said, when you're Jesus six, said yeah. it simple. God's the judge. So the same priest who's telling his congregation that suicide is a sin is getting sucked off by a twelve year old altar boy. Okay. Well, hey, it doesn't. Does it say anywhere that in the Bible? No. Look at look at the the Vatican. What did Jesus say? He said, "Love one another as yourself." Yeah, that's what Jesus said to me. And how many people? How many people actually do that? You do. Yeah, but how many people you think actually live? The the one, the ones. A lot of people. Okay, but we don't go to church every week, and we can still do that. That's my whole point. I have never been to church. That's my whole point. But Jesus never went to church every week. Jesus never asked for money. You don't even know that Jesus existed. Yes, he does. That's an anecdotal fact. I believe in Jesus and God. I believe in God. I'm, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with believing in him. I'm just saying you can't prove that a man named Jesus existed who I believe he supposedly existed. walked on water and made well, blind people see. Shit. Metaphors and stories. Have you? I think, he, I think he, he existed. I think he was a man, but you know. You have guys who have been dead in your family? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen them? What do you mean? Seen them. Like they in can, dreams? Can, yes, and come and you tell you, some, tell you something. I've seen I've in my dreams. dreams about yeah, me about too. I have seen my mother coming to me and say, do this and do that. But who but am I, I to deny that and say that's You not think real. that's I God think. or your subconscious? I think that's my mother. I think it's I from think God. I think we're not meant to understand that until we're dead. But we, we will see when we are dead. We'll find out. Yeah. But I believe in it. I don't know, man. I, I don't see anything more than this. But one thing is for certain. You have to love once your fellow you, man. Once you're dead, it's like... You can't I, I exist darkness, in a vacuum. Like, you know, That's my before, nightmare. Before, yeah. yeah. Fuck. Not a nightmare. It might be fucking reality. I don't believe in ghosts or none of that shit. Not ghosts, but uh, souls. Souls. I believe in it. <laughs> the power. Probably because Boston no, Lloyd had a good point. Yeah. Yeah. I'll agree with him. <laughs> he always said, you know, he wasn't fa- well, why people thank God for this and that. He said he thanks himself. That is true. The personal initiative. Correct. When you saw that Haitian earthquake, what did you see on CNN? All the Haitians looking up in the sky. Oh, Jay Z, Jay Z, Jay. What good did it do them when the buildings were falling off? Jay Z. That's what they call Jesus, Jay-Z in Creole. Get the... F- oh, okay. That's Jay-Z. Who is the statue in oh, Jay-Z. Brazil? I think it's they, Jay-Z. Like, Christ the, the Redeemer? Yeah. The one in Brazil? Yeah. Never Brazil. heard of the other Rio de Janeiro? Christ the Redeemer oh. in Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. yeah. It's Christian. What do you mean? It's the... Christ, it's the... Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. It's that uh, Christian yeah. thing. Yeah. Statue. The statue. Yeah. 
I yeah. guess. Well, I, that really works good on their gore videos. They have really a they, they have a cross at the top of uh, well, it's like Stone Hill, Mountain, Hill. Georgia. No, they when they went to fire. Barcelona, the Park Well, the yeah. Park Well. I, I, I look. You school. have Jesus yeah. there. On Jesus. Their arms. No. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah, you Him have. and Christian, the trainer. He had Jesus tattoo. He does. <laughs> yeah. And he's going to answer for that. I'm going to answer for that. Whatever, Leonard. I didn't say it was good or bad, Freudian slip. Huh? I didn't say that was good or bad. <laughs> Usually that denotes bad. I'm not worried. Come to Sweden sometimes. And Just like, for it. what? You can't do shit over you're in gonna Sweden. Believe the the you're way gonna, you talk about it, why the fuck would I want to You're going to believe in God when you're in Sweden. Why? Because wow. it's that bad? No. <laughs> they does. take you to church and show you. I've been to some beautiful churches in Spain. In Spain, yeah. Okay. It, it is breathtaking. The yeah. architecture and shit, how they built that mm -hmm. fucking hundreds of years ago. It really is. But well, that's so got nothing to do with God. That's people. I agree. Working. That's religion. That's what I yeah. came to the conclusion. And who do I look at? The man that was sent by God. God's son is Jesus. Lenny, have you read the Bible? Absolutely. I the can New almost... Testament and the Old Testament. Absolutely. What do you believe in, the Old or New Testament? I believe in both of them. I don't believe in anything. Things literally, I take the message for what they are. Okay. You know, about the... Do you recommend me to read the Bible? Yes, you have to read it and you have to study with an open mind, just like it says in the book of Revelation. Can I understand This it? calls for wisdom. Yeah. People need to understand the number of the beast. This That's calls for wisdom. Questions. What's the, the number? number? What's the number? The number is 666. This, this talk that calls for wisdom. You have to think about what that exactly means. Okay. And they also say there'll be a mark on everyone you can't buy or sell unless you have it. That's obviously the computer chip they're going to be putting in every one of us within five years. Interesting. The mark of the beast. Yeah. Is that in the Bible, be, the mark of the beast? That's in Revelation. Oh. Mm. Yes, you didn't read that? I have never read the Bible. Apocalypse is also oh, the book. No, no. Last book of the New Testament. Okay, thank you for... You didn't know that? No, no, no. Wait a Lewis. minute. Leonard definitely yeah. does. He does I want his research. to know, but I am too lazy. <laughs> to read <laughs> Revelation, you could Google it. Yeah. It said, he who has wisdom, no, he'd let rather, them calculate. He'd, he'd rather go do beast. Instagram videos drinking and, and, and flicking me off <laughs> instead of educating no. himself. Yeah, <laughs> I've been drinking a lot, but for well, my diet, I have been, yeah. Here's how to live life. I'll sum it up. You got to love your, you got to love everybody else. You got to look out for them. You've got to inspire them. You you got to look out for your like Andrew today was criticizing a guy that could have hurt himself on a leg press. He was looking out for his fellow man. There wasn't any animosity or malcontent. Now, when you're walk people that walk around self righteous, I don't sin and I'm this and that. And look at my clothes. That's evil. Look at my jewelry. Look at my look at my what do they call Material that? The porch things. monkeys. The bling. That's the most demonic thing you can do. And trust me, when you're dead, you're gonna, there's going to be some reckoning. Trust me on that. Trust you or believe you? Tr believe me. There's going to be some reckoning. People that like to, to, to mutilate people when their arms are tied up. I mean, a war is a war. You're out there to kill. Just like they used to say, Kill everybody else, let God sort them out. That's all well and good, but when you're doing things like that, you're being, album, you're being a cookie album. cutter. Did Jesus kill anybody, Lenny? Not that I know of, but if he did and they deserved it, fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people do deserve to be killed. I'll agree with you there. Yeah. But he didn't retaliate when they killed him. He was out to prove a point. Can you broke the seal. Can you tell Lenny that his unclean floor inspired me to stop cleaning my place? I've been growing like a weed ever since I stopped. More time to grow. It works. You got to think of yourself, what's the most productive thing I could be doing right now? If you miss your meal, you know, you got to meet a meal, eat. I don't care if you're doing a podcast or an internet video, Dave. People don't want to hear you chew. That's too damn bad. You got to grow. Number one, you've got to get your training in, your sleeping and whatever. And you've got to do your research. You have the internet. It's not like I had Flex Magazine and exactly. Muscle Every, and Fitness, the shit they used to tell that's, you back that's then. Why you, don't even you couldn't grow a, a muscle on a freaking hummingbird, following their advice. Then you buy the Weeder supplements, the anabolic mega pack like I did. 
This is a steroid replacement. That really worked. It's just like... If it cost you can... me 30 bucks on my fucking paper route. <laughs> buying that shit. You had a paper route? Oh, yeah. Got yeah. up at 5 in the morning. Ice cold weather. Walked up and down hills. No bike? My father made me do it. Matter of fact, my first year of doing it, I was a real young kid. It was when the Jonestown Massacre. First day I got papers. A stack of like 50. And what, with the, it showed how, the dead bodies from the Jonestown Massacre. I think it was in the late 70s. You don't remember when, how old you were? I wasn't even 10 year, younger than that. No shit. So you went to 50 houses? Up hills and the snow before did school. You, did you have to collect money from the... Every Saturday, $1. twenty. Right to the door? Yes. And what would you get out of that? Sometimes I get tips. I'd, I'd pay the distributor at the end of the week, and whatever money's left over, I kept. And I usually went and bought muscle magazines, and I'd sneak comic books. How much I'd stuff you, them in the collection bag. Week? I don't remember. It wasn't too much. 20, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. But and that's doing it seven days? I deliver papers seven days, six days a week. Holy shit. Six, seven days a week. Here's a, here's a question for me. Prince Andrew, what's the secret? What are you hiding? You seem to live such a carefree, relaxed, <laughs> <laughs> calm lifestyle. What tips can you give so we can also look 28 when we are 40? Wow. That's a um, I know the answer to this. Go ahead. I, well, I, I think there are several answers. Number the, the, one. The, the general answer is keep stress to a minimum. If it brings stress in your life, push it away. No time for anything Where's stressful. Fridge. More specifically, I would say um, I think a very important thing that all young people should learn to do is say the word no. Never be afraid to say no to anybody. If something you don't want to do, no. I've seen you done that many times. Right. Do that many times. Do never be afraid to say no. You no have, thanks. I'm, you, I'm good. You, right. Yeah, if you have to second you, guess yourself, just say no. You have to learn to say the word no to people in life and put your own needs and your own priorities ahead those of others. Unless it's a family member, a loved one, a child, things like that, obviously. But always put your own needs and priorities before anyone else's. Otherwise, you'll, you know, if you find yourself giving, 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 but never getting anything back in return, only a fool does that. So learn to say no. Um, I would say keep, try, do everything you can to stay out of debt. There is nothing worse than being young and digging yourself a hole in terms of debt, whether it's student loans, credit card debt. Student loan is a big one. It, you will be in a Not world really of... That, like here, I don't know about you. I'm mm -hmm. sorry to interrupt. No, but like no, when you ahead. turn 18, that's when you start getting all these credit card promotion that's shit right. in the mail. They know. That's right. They want you to sign up for a credit card New and car. get yourself in fucking debt. Yep. You know, if you're, you know. But go ahead. No, s stay out of debt. I was in debt. I, I paid it all off. I bit the bullet. I was... In credit card debt, I said, fuck it. I wrote a check, I got rid of it, and it's just a big weight off my shoulders. It, I took a huge hit, but not writing that credit card payment, paying that every single month, it feels great. And slowly but surely, you, you don't know, collect build things. it back they up. You the hottest, well, they kill you with the interest thing. rates. That's why there's a bank it, on every corner of the fucking It's just simple. If it, brings, if it brings negativity into your life, push it away. I don't care if it's a girl. It doesn't matter what it is, who it is. And, um, Don't sacrifice your happiness for someone else's. Exactly right. Never put anyone else's needs and happiness ahead of your own. And and I've learned that lesson the hard way. I think a lot of people do. I mean, it I, sounds selfish, but it, it you it, do have to be able to make yourself happy. Yes. You know, you can't I depend have. on somebody else to make. I've you happy. carved out a very nice little niche for myself, and um, I am happy as a pig yeah, in shit. Yeah, but you still get up early in the morning. You bust your ass, That's right? And you work, and you're dedicated to your job. You don't call sick. I've called out sick once in 12 years. You hear job. that, cookie cutters? <laughs> once. Can I, you work with fever? Sure. The only time I ever called out sick is when I had a norovirus, a stomach virus that went around my whole job. Oh, that's not funny. In two weeks, 300 employees got it, and I woke up at 3 in the morning, and that was it. Pissing, oh. at, pissing out your ass. Oh. <laughs> I, it's the only time I've ever called Did out. Did you ever heard ass. about the France Legionnaire? Legionnaire's disease? Yeah, I got it. Ooh. What the fuck is that? Where are you going? It's in the lungs. Yes. Oh. He's not going to shit. He should have shit it. From a shower. Mm -hmm. I know we almost died. I want to jump through the window. Yeah. I couldn't work then. <laughs> remember that, yeah. my son? Yeah, I, <laughs> I thought they eradicated that in the developed what? countries. Legionnaire's disease. 
Yeah. I got that shit oh, from a gym. Yeah. That's what why you're a hypochondriac. What were you doing? Licking the oh, piss yeah. off the floor yeah. like I recommended <laughs> in one of the videos yeah. you saw? After that, you remember? <laughs> you were licking the, the oh. men's room floor like I recommended? <laughs> After that, I got a hypochondriac. Yeah, I can promise you that. 50% to die or live. No you serious? Yeah. Wow. I ha- ha- what exactly is that? Hallucinated for two weeks. Oh, that would have been fucking fun. No, I got 41, <laughs> 41, <laughs> 41 Celsius fever. for two weeks. 41. You should have went to fucking Coachella. Yeah. <laughs> Music festival oh, or something. my God. And when I got the right medicine. He's sitting down wow. on the toilet to piss. I feel good. <laughs> Lenny's one of those that <laughs> squats to piss. Yeah, He's you really turn into a fucking homo. But what what did he say now before he about being pees. a man? That whole speech about <laughs> yeah, being a man, and yeah. he's sitting on the toilet to piss. <laughs> you, you didn't know what that he sits Are on the toilet to piss. Are you standing up pissing? Yeah. What Quit it directly, directly. You can ask Lenny why. I promise you. No. Why what? You you get prostate cancer if you're standing up. Oh no, you don't. Yeah. Where, did you, where did you hear that? This nonsense? is a Swedish. No. Yeah. yeah. Get the Stop fuck it. out of here. Stop every, it. Every, every the, the, pod listener going to tell the, you the, the same. Then every single man, then 90% of men would have prostate cancer. No, maybe 90% sitting down. You don't know. 90% of men sit down when they pee. Yeah. What? Get the fuck out of here. What? Not in this country. Go to a ball game one yeah. Sunday. What? Everybody's standing you up know, to piss. You know when you're standing up and you're peeing? Yeah. Well, then why? On the hangover, we say, and then you go to bed, you're thinking, why I must pee again? That's because you must, the whole bladder must be out. So you, you're you telling me that the only way to completely empty your bladder is by sitting down. Yeah. Huh. Well, then why don't women... And the pressure on your prostate is better. That has nothing to do with cancer. Well, let's ask, yeah. let's no, ask it, it, Dr. Person. Yes. He's coming right back. Ask him. Ask him. I, I don't say We anything. ask him. The yeah. same guy who lets women piss in his mouth? Ask yeah. him. I'm not getting medical advice He said advice you can empty him. your bladder. Is that a Freudian slip? <laughs> now it's a woman. Ah, you're coming around, Andrew. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you ask him. Hamburg wants us to ask you if there's any correlation between standing up and urinating and prostate cancer. Let's ask Dr. Person, the proctologist. He said the only way to fully empty your bladder is by sitting down and peeing. But that has nothing to do with prostate cancer. That just has something to do with... Why don't you text your dad? I think it's to fully (laughs) empty your bladder. I don't have to text him for that one. Your colon is better. It'll be like I just disowned you, you dumb (laughs) fuck. My father would ask me if I've smoked too much of your shit. I have a feeling Sweden with their (laughs) politics... Is demasculizing men to a point where they're telling little boys to sit down and no. piss. They're just telling that because they want to be the same. Just Google it. I will. But this was 35 years ago I heard it. <laughs> From who? You heard it where? From uh, relatives to... From a who, doctor? N- no. Who, who, who? People who know brothers or sister or nephews who die from prostate cancer and the doctor tell them sit down sit down and pee for a man can you say my yeah. sister is number one prostitute in sweden <laughs> my sister uh, no, no not in swedish just say no, it in english just say it with your accent say with just your accent my sister is number one prostitute in sweden no fucking way what <laughs> please just once can i what just just one time say it again brad my sister is number one prostitute. What in Kazakhstan? Yeah. My sister is number one prostitute in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, it's from Bora. Because <laughs> you sound just like that him. Was great. Fucking that was my mother's best actor. She, she loved him. Oh, that was fun. Uh, that was good. Let's read some questions again. No, it's not I, I want, no proof anymore. I want more people sitting. to ask me questions. I like I like that. It was a good one. Yeah. I could say more, but I'm not going to say more. Your troll account asked me when am I going to do a porno? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there he is. I haven't seen I him. I never one at the barbecue. I haven't never. seen him for a while. Yeah, a m- Memorial Day. A forced porno. Ask, it's going to be a gangbang. Ask him. Wow, <laughs> look at this. Big underarms, like Popeye. Thank you. Forearms. Forearms. Yeah. 
what did Under uh, arms. Uh, forearms. Ask Jesus. Hamburg if eating ass is popular in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Have you ever had your ass eaten? No, my ass not. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Feels great. But I think a Swedish man mm. like a sw- a Swedish woman ass to lick. Tr- trannies. Have you licked a woman ass, Brad? No, thank you. <laughs> no? no? Still no. Nah, still no ass no, licking on this to. guy's chap. This is the non-eating ass you don't need side to. of the table. You don't need Brad to. No, man. I don't need to do it either, but I do it. Leonard, there's many ways to make a girl yeah. orgasm enjoy rather your, than eating her ass. Enjoy your E. coli and parasites. And that's what they want. Can you get that from that? Yeah, you can get hepatitis B, E. coli, pinworms, hookworms, whipworms, tapeworms. Yeah. You what go, do you think's going all around in his fucking stomach over you, there? You're going to puke. Uh, look at him. Look at that yeah. guilty can face. Can you get that from... Uh, from licking an asshole? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, but I don't do it, so... <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done it? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, of course, two times. I hope my wife not listening to this. <laughs> what, she's the only one that caught it? Yes. Wow. Yeah, you have... What, what is that on your back? Uh, the year 2013, I traveled to Thailand with my um, girlfriend. I can't say wife because I only engage her once time. Yep. And uh, how is that? No, I don't. No, I'm getting this on my back. Is a Thai Thai tattoo letter on my daughter's name, but nice. that's done in Sweden. I did some googling, uh, Hamburg, and actually means bitch in Thai. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but uh, I have been to many Thai massage in Sweden, and every girl saying, Hannah, Hannah, <laughs> do are you? Are you married to a Thai woman? Everybody says. But uh, your wife is Swedish? Yeah. So how was Yeah, how was she Thailand? is Swedish, but her father was a Turkish man. How was the massage in Thailand? In Thailand? Yeah. You had a particular yeah. story you told me earlier in the gym. You want yeah. to reiterate it for what the maniacs? The fuck? I, can, I can tell it. I can tell it. What the fuck? Who cares? This, Lenny, this when you're going to Thailand? The story is good. Yes. too good not to tell. Yeah. I went to Thailand. My wife, wife, no, what? Not wife. Uh, my girlfriend was on the beach, and I told her I go to take some massage. <laughs> yeah, I go up to the Patong Street in Patong. Yeah, of course it's Patong. When I am in Patong, and uh, yeah, I go to the massage, and uh, a pretty girl take me up to the massage room and massage me. Was she Thai? Yeah, she was Thai. Thai girl, of course. And uh, when you massage my back, I feel she got strong, strong fists. <laughs> and I'm thinking, yeah. You got fisted? Is no fisted, it? but <laughs> is, is this the hand? Strong hands. Strong hands. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. And um, you had a girl. She had a girl voice and everything was fine. You're turning around. And you sit, she sit on me, and I felt something. <laughs> so you're laying on your back now. Uh, yes, now I'm uh, lying on my back, uh, and uh, there was a cock. Is, there was a she male. <laughs> oh, so things went from yeah, everything was great to fantastic. <laughs> In your eyes, Lenny, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that didn't turn you on. No way. So what did you do when you felt that? I began to watch the Adam Apple. <laughs> and investigated and it was really big you investigated and I look at the hands and this was man hands you started connecting yes, the dots yeah yeah <laughs> but it's like a scene it's from a okay it flashed it. <laughs> you don't you uh, no. don't get raped so it's fine but uh, the face and the did you get a happy ending no way I no way did you give her a happy ending she asked but uh, yeah, I don't want some. I have a wife. Uh, not wife, but girlfriend. Look at Lenny shaking his head. In totally irrelevant. L- Lenny's irrelevant. disgusted. I can say this. If Lenny go to Thailand, he is in paradise. Yeah, man. Once you break over That's that That's what home. people have messaged me to. Don't, don't bring Lenny to Thailand. He'll never leave. <laughs> <laughs> you eat three diners. Uh, what is it called? You eat uh, a big meal for maybe 
two and a half dollar. Sounds awesome. You, you know, Ever. you, you know, after a UFC fight, like when a Brazilian guy wins and Joe Rogan interviews him and he brings in his interpreter, <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. what his son is sitting here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Continue. But uh, go to Thailand, Lenny. I promise you. Oh, I will. You Br- will. Bring Andrew. You, you still haven't even. Have you gone to apply for your passport? Uh, that's no. a no. I shouldn't need. <laughs> I shouldn't need a passport. There's a thing called uh, special invitation keys to the city. I'll tell you what. Tomorrow I'll take you to at least get your passport picture right. and get the ball. You're rolling. off tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Lenny, if you go to Thailand, I promise you. I promise you one thing. You don't want to go home any, anymore. Oh well. <laughs> two fifty dollars, two dollars fifty cents for a big meal. Vicious tranny sex domination. Yeah. Two or three on one pissing and shitting. <laughs> he'll, that, be ha- he'll be happy to die there. Your penetration of all kinds. Yeah. It's hard to find real woman <laughs> looking <laughs> nice. That, going to the pharmacy, tr- getting GHB yeah. test and trend. No, it's fake everywhere in Thailand. It's fake. Yeah, you must know it when you're going to Thai. What's fake? Test oh, and G H and everything. I don't know. Ask Tony Huge. I you remember know it. W- when I went to Costa Rica, I went with three other friends for the first time in 2003, and one of them was the day we were supposed to leave, and he had such a good time. He didn't want to leave. He was sitting in his hotel room crying. I'm not gonna say his name, but holy, Brad. He, he wouldn't leave the whole, the whole, the whole cab ride to the airport, crying his eyes out. He Brad. wanted to go back to the hotel. We're like, dude, <laughs> all good things coming to an end. <laughs> we'll go again. Yeah, they don't have a USB next year. satellite office down there, Brad. So you're out of luck. <laughs> the funding's gonna stop sooner or later. Hey, but fun. you have I'd two hours to, flight to, to Colombia. Oh, yeah, to Costa yeah, that's Rica. it. That's, that's where it. I would move to. S- somewhere down there for wow. sure. Wow, it's beautiful. Go to Colombia. I'd be happy living on Dixie Highway. Walker's apartment's right there. Walking out of trains, walking ten, ten, tens, walking out your door. Leonard's scared to leave the country. He is afraid of flying. I think. No, well, no, he's he's afraid that he's I gonna. Li- he's afraid that he's gonna like somewhere else a lot more. Okay. No, it's not. It's that. typical when people go on vacation. I they discovered always, the internet. I discovered the YNC like and Best Score. And I see the shit that goes on over there. So you're not going to go to one of those countries. I heard there's a Canadian citizen recently got hanged and uh, hung, hung in Peru. No, hanged. I hung a picture on the wall. Larry hanged himself because yes. he wanted to commit suicide. Why can't they say Larry hung himself? Uh uh uh. I'm looking for the video, but this guy <laughs> fuck you. supposedly <laughs> killed some. Uh, so you went to college, medicine, <laughs> fuck you. witch doctor, some old woman out in Peru. And the I barely locals, graduated high school. I always get angry when people make them. that mistake. Yeah, it's all right. And there's video out there. I'm trying to find it. Well, it's just like saying, um, irregardless. Yeah, that's yeah. another one. Or conversate. Yeah. Oh, God, when I hear people say that. Ask. Ask. I was conversating. To think that people still say that. Now we're critiquing the English language. That's why yeah. you're fucking silent over there. I'm I going to take lessons when I come home. You speak, Not, you speak fine English. I'd rather speak to you than some of that human filth that I work with any day. <laughs> what <laughs> is that? Is that Porsche monkeys? Or? Hey, you <laughs> basically call them that. Human filth. Yeah. People that never bothered to go to school or pay attention or learn correctly. Yeah. They just talk and they have no meaning. Just shut up about this. Shut your damn mouth. When I'm at work, I'm lucky if I say two words. People yeah, say exactly. hi to me. I walk right well, by. How about at sp- the work? At work. Yes. What the fuck? How about speak when spoken to? Yes, I say two words. I'm there to work. Well, my particular thing I'm doing now, I call it eyes, hands, and feet. I'm moving the whole damn time unless when I go eat. Eyes, hands, and feet moving, not the mouth. Their mouth is moving. Let leaning against the wall. Looking to see how they can get out of work. I just blow right by them. Fuck them. Human filth. Whose phone keeps going off? His. He doesn't have his notifications turned off. He doesn't know how to do it. You're supposed to show me how, Brad. I don't have a fucking Android. I'm going to show you? Yeah, yeah. Turn it on. For, so for everything or just Instagram? It's, it's got to be Instagram. Yeah, that, I that's, keep getting a sign that says, Big Rob, leave Big Rob alone. Never heard of her. Never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, get your boy Lenny in check before he drops dead. I wish wish Jay Masters was here. 
I he like said him. he's I too like tired. I, he, he just texted me. He's too tired. Brad's small dick. He should have. <laughs> but the, did you film that really piss like. from the bottom? Did you story. film that piss from the truck? Yeah, his milk jug of piss. Yeah. <laughs> you rode inside the truck. Is that why you're getting? It's you, just piss. You may have it's drank out of that thing for all you know. Didn't you smell the smell? I didn't no. smell it, no. When it splattered on the ground, it smelled. Yeah. Uh, I, I was standing yeah. far enough back. It I smelled. I, yeah, it smelled. It's not like Vera. Yeah. Down Didn't wind, you I smell? No, I think yeah, I, I smell fucking either. smelled it. It's not like Vera who tasted good and stuff. It was disgusting. Good and stuff. If you smell it, you have puked. Fucking one. Delicious. Oh, my How could piss taste fucking Delicious. Well, her sure did. But he laughed like a child in the truck. <laughs> did you see it? Yeah. When I puked, na- almost a, puked. Yeah, but there's a lot of room in that fucking truck. I was surprised. Yeah. Yeah. There's a nice, big. nice amount of space. Yeah. He so drove like, me yesterday through. Stunk, but, uh, he ran through some trees. <laughs> On Atlantic Avenue? Yeah. Yeah, because, well. He didn't care. Boom, boom. What are you supposed boom, to boom, do? Boom, 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 boom. They're not strong enough to. In, you know ruin a truck it just scrapes the fucking paint it's, shit. it's funny because I offered him if he wanted to he can park it on my driveway but that thing wouldn't fit it's huge no, it's, it's I didn't realize how big that rig is speaking of huge Hamburg what do you think about that oh no now he's showing if you chicks. put what is it if you take the cock away it's she's beautiful <laughs> if you leave the cock she's a freak <laughs> but that's you like it when it's being sick you like it the first time you you like uh, I was tranny, to, uh, you I, was I, devastated I wanted to kill myself yeah. the first time yeah <laughs> he was devastated <laughs> i wanted to kill myself have you been with a real girl <laughs> you after probably this? Sure. <laughs> oh yeah yeah it's 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 a 50 50 depending on where my mood yeah. is but if i'm on high test or anything like fenibut that makes you high i'll, I'll rip into one real do fast. that you like the best it's no, I have no problem to that. I just yeah. you're honest. That's fine. I mean, it's not free. That's the only problem I don't have. But yeah, yeah. but people like what they like. So who gives yeah. a shit? You know, who cares? But like, I don't care what you what you do in the bedroom. I don't want to see it. But I'm I don't doing care. the bedroom. I'm doing the streets of Dixie. Exactly. Highway. That, that, I have <laughs> friends who are gay. A fucking tree outside. To me, I, don't I, don't get, I don't get that one bit. I just don't get that. I can understand. You don't get that uh, gay. A guy likes like trans. I can guy, understand it. And one to uh, do that to him, it's disgusting. Well, that's how your brain is. But I don't see wired. trannies. The, it's the furthest thing from it because they're so feminine. It's the not the part. furthest thing from it. It's the closest thing to it. No, it's not. Bullshit. Not at all. People mm-hmm. like all kinds of stuff. Putting batteries in their penises and everything. So <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Batteries in the Yeah, penis? haven't you seen on YouTube? The batteries. What? No. Yeah, batteries right in the fucking Well, penis. listen. What if I see battery? something that <laughs> AAA... Triple A batteries? Yeah. Cool. If I see something that, that pops up that says battery and penis, I'm yeah. not clicking on it. Guess what, Brad? You're <laughs> going to get fun it. Going. You just got it for the rest of your life thanks to the baby that's right. and trolls yeah. there. That's right. Exactly. And people got eels in their pussies. And batteries and penis. I've seen To those. the big Brad yeah. Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> he'll be watching so much, he'll be he'll be doing it. We'll be hearing stories about him with no, batteries. No, because all you have to do is not click on that shit, Leonard. If his dick will be it. like the Energizer Bunny, all the batteries <laughs> up to his penis. There you go. Make a, a dildo Energizer Bunny running around. An Energizer Bunny with a strap on on. That sounds like a good idea for the barbecue. What? A girl dressed up with a bunny and a strap on. No. Oh. You want to compare cocks? <laughs> if that, he's looking at oh. his most vascular forearms. If I get a hard on, you're finished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When I got, got TRT, maybe we can. Yeah. <laughs> Just you need to get TRT. <laughs> yeah. No what? Yeah, they have to give me. Be, you, you don't know how big and strong. You never did it before. You no. get so big, strong, and horny. You feel like you're 25 again. It is. I need it. Right like now. Yeah, it's I good. want it. I want it. I tell my uh, girlfriend. I going to TRT. Sometimes we forget our age, and that's why you might as well tell her. That, yeah, you know, I felt today. You might as well tell her that you're going to be with other women too, because you get on TRT, you 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 have no choice. You yeah, no way. Yeah. I am faithful to my girlfriend. Not I when you're on you. TRT, you're not. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm positive. No, don't why? listen to him. It's just what it does to your brain. 
No, that's you're looking, you'll just want to fuck her more. You're yeah, looking at every girl. We're talking about his mother in front of you know what I mean. Earmuffs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're talking about trannies in front of us. And you actually think that would last He's a million seconds? My father. You just want to fuck her more. That's it. You yeah, think my father would sit happy. there? Yeah. Yes. Well, you yeah. Yeah. Where you bring out your dope? There's nothing. Nothing. No. Nothing bad that'll come of it. If they give you good shit in Sweden, they do, but. I heard they give you a shot every ninth week. That's uh, shit. A what shot a f- every, every ninth, ninth week, and the the levels must be like a roller coaster. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I do it myself if I want to. Yeah. That's the way to that, go. They administer TRT in Sweden by giving you an injection every nine weeks. Yes, What's there the is a that? super long acting testosterone if yeah. they're using that. But yeah. who knows? What is that? Anthony Anth- Anth- Lenny, what do you know about the testosterone pellet? He once told me about that. Yeah, they're time release, the size of a grain of rice. It gets inserted. Hey, the- yeah, they put it in like they do the uh, computer implant chip, where they're going to put in all of us. I think it's in the lower in your lower back they get it, you don't even feel it. Mm-hmm. Then about six months later you get another one, it slowly disperses it. It's amazing. A lot of guys get good results over that. I mean to me I'd rather do that than rub on a cream anywhere. That's a pain in the ass. No, no pun intended. Now if they can make a pellet that gives you massive amounts of test, like say a thousand milligrams a week, now we're talking. Or any kind of hormone injected like that, where you don't have to inject yourself on a daily basis. You just get the little pellet implant put in you. I think they're working. I think the technology's there, the nanotechnology and such. I think there's good things in the future headed our way. And I also think, and I hate to say it, you've heard of her now, in about 10 to 20 years, an average 10-year-old girl will be able to go to a doctor and say she wants a dick. And they'll actually be able to put a dick onto a girl. Because she identifies as a male. No, she just wants one. It's called penis envy. A lot of girls that sh- when they're three year olds, they sh- you hear stories about it. They show their father, "Mommy, I want one of those. Why does Daddy have a flashlight or this and that?" And then she say, "Oh, I want one." A few years later, I want one. So she'll have a pussy and a dick and a rectum, and that'll be your ultimate thing. Because then you'll have two holes to work with: got a dick, tits, mouth, feet, the whole, you know. But that is coming, whether people like it or not. Me, I have a feeling I'm like, glad I just missed. I can't you say just pro said. or con, you but I'm sure, I'll, at the right time. I'm sure I'll indulge in it if I'm still around. Which, cover, you know, barring accident or injury, I'll be 18 forever, barring accident or heart explosion. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> that's on the horizon. I, you heard it here first. I can guarantee you, mommy. I want one. Okay, mommy. I want one. What penis? Oh, gosh. an eight-year-old girl. He haven't heard the whole thing. So. What's yeah, coming? Yeah. Well, he'll hear it in 10, 20 years. <laughs> I hope not. I hope it's not his grandkids. Yeah, right. <laughs> Brad will be a grandfather soon, probably. He Don't can say that. be a Don't grandfather in about Don't four or five that. years. Don't Gramps. say that. I want to be it. Don't say I, that. I want my daughter to have kids. And he, him you better get cracking there, young man. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not going to have kids. You better get cracking. <laughs> <laughs> you better get cracking. My son Smart. is sitting no. here. No. Don't do it. No. You have to. No, you don't. Don't listen to Lenny. Now you have to pay the. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. Travel. The stupidest thing Shit. any man can do who's under the age of mm, twenty-eight or even thirty is start having kids. It's a time of your life when you should be discovering yourself, working on your education, your your profession, your career goals, your professional aspirations. But if his you, type. You, don't reproduce. Guess what? You won't be able to have any of her aspirations. You got fucking ragheads running the country, oh. radical ragheads. Don't do it. They're having I'm kids. Not. I'm not. They're having kids. <laughs> you haven't introduced him. So oh, I didn't. I didn't get to ask you questions. Have you ever had sex with we, a woman? With a woman? Yeah, yeah. For How many women? times? We have why, ha- why is that the Hold first on. question you're going to ask? <laughs> Second question. We, we have Hamburg's son. He's 19 years old with us tonight. We just gave him the microphone so Lenny can... Yeah. Hello. Yes. Per- perverted manner and ask him some questions. Do you look at porno on the internet? Of course I do. <laughs> of no. course. He's 19. You don't remember... Do you smoke dope? Listen. Have you? No. Not used to, so... 
Good. Yeah. Do you take any recreational drugs? No. Good. Only drink What are you, alcohol. a fucking cop? What's the legal <laughs> Why drinking? Why are you asking that shit? The legal drinking age in Sweden is what? 18. Okay. But uh, it's only in uh, bars. If you go to the store and you need to buy alcohol, it's called uh, uh, Systembolaget. It's... Uh, 21 years old. Yeah, it's 21 mm-hmm. to buy in store. But if you go to a bar, it's 18 years old. I don't know why, but... Yeah, that have you ever had no sex with a black sense. woman? That makes no sense to me. Oh, my God. Have you ever had sex with a black woman? Excuse me, Brad. <laughs> Do you ask me? Of course. With a black woman? Yes. Yeah, no, never. Have you ever... Is there a lot over there? <laughs> He's relieved. Yeah, look yeah, at there's him. a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> it's great. It is. <laughs> have you? Hey... Hamber, ah, what, Hamber, what would you do? If, fucking great. Hamber, what would you, what would you have done if you said yes? Uh, would you have backhanded him across the room? No, but <laughs> since old saying, <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can make a couple phone calls right now, and we can make it happen. Do you want to make it happen for you, Hamber? I got a, a spare bedroom right since there. Since you took me out to dinner, I'll get you a blast escort before you leave. I want the there. Let's do it. <laughs> Just kidding. No, you, you become addicted. It's like heroin. You don't want to do that. I love my my. Girlfriend. That's irrelevant. I love no. girls too, but I'll rip open a tranny and do filthy don't, things with. Don't you wish to live with a wife and have? A, a, Absolutely. And someone to. I don't. Talk I wouldn't to. want to live with a tranny. Most of them I met. No, I want them for my filthy half hour an hour and get them back on their way and you know. <laughs> Lenny, think about this. You go to the gym, you you are at the work, go to the gym, coming home, the wife is there giving you protein and carbo... What's the name? Carbohydrates. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you talk, talk about the Bible you like, talk about politics, and you, she, you sleep together, and the days coming I around. I had that. It was great. She, yeah. moved, she moved to Orlando. But have that as a goal. I punched, I punched her cousin a, in the face. Do that. She as was a, speaking Creole to yeah. her. Do it. I had a girl like that. Fix that again. It's not easy. Some of these cunts <laughs> don't even want to cook. <laughs> you can get it. You're famous. Well, you know how to You're cook. You're a famous yeah. YouTuber. Everybody wants to meet you. You know it. Yeah. At the gym today. That doesn't mean they want to marry him. I think they won't. I think that bartender did. You saw oh, at the gym give me today. A fucking break. The guy who, who who see us. Where is Lenny? Where is yeah. Lenny? You're yeah. famous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah. I fly in hey, eleven hours to meet you. Well, great, your, that's smart. Yeah. I wouldn't go that's across smart, the street to smart. see some of them porch monkey NBA players. I wouldn't even go across the fucking street. That's cool. Miami Heat. (laughs) (laughs) I never saw that before. You designed that yourself? That's very... You should market those hats. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But if you're coming to Sweden, Lani, I will show you Sweden. Show me a nice woman. Yeah. Six foot two. That squats. (laughs) Healthy, young. You have everything here. (laughs) You do, but there's... The law is stacked against you, like I was discussing with Brad. The law is stacked against you. Okay. When you're married, you're signing your name on the dotted line, even like Andrew said, having a kid, because it's not you, it's the law is stacked against you. Correct. Okay. They can, they can, you can get locked up, a girl can lie on any of us, and they'll lock you right Not up. only that, but yep. there are no laws on the books that protect men against paternity fraud. If you, if you went out to a bar tonight, Met a girl, you go into the bathroom, she pokes a hole in your condom, you have sex with her, you get her pregnant because she poked a hole in the condom, that's not a crime. You'd be on the hook for 18 years of child support payments, the equivalent of a mortgage payment every month for the next not eight, a car payment, 18 a mortgage year. payment. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Depending on what you make. Right. Yeah, out of her stinking for the cunt ne- mouth. Right. That's a day of laws like that in Sweden. Or if she, or, or she tells you she's on the pill and she lies and she's not. That's not a crime. But you'd still be on the hook for 18 years. Yeah. It's the, same, law, it's, the laws are it's insane. Sweden, That's why right? I always tell so young men, pull out. do you children, not you have to get pay. anyone yeah. pregnant because when, that's it. I you, hate you, to say it. Take that condom, go to Dixie Highway, young men, and fuck a tranny up the ass. 
She can't get pregnant. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's just what they're going to do. I'm with do. Lenny. That's the real one. If you like it, that's fine. But I don't like it. It sounds like your life plan is fine. No, but <laughs> I like Lenny and I yes. understand him. So why the fuck? Well, if you were with some, I would. You'd be, you'd be, you cross that point. Especially you get on PEDs. Every GHB? GHB and PEDs. Yeah, that's yeah. a bad cocktail. I used to swig that GHB 15 minutes before I made Depends that appointment. Or a good cocktail. What I, is like, GHB? That shit made you so fucking horny within 15 minutes. You should describe minutes. it as like liquid you'd literally ecstasy. Lick, you'd literally lick the floor. You see some fat bitch, you want to crawl up in her. You. Anyone. This me, 58 pounds heavier. What year was that? Uh, 2017. Who's a girl on the far right? My daughter. That's the dentist? Yeah. And that's my... I say wife. You look like you're on PEDs. Your arms look like 22 inches. I haven't trained for 17 years there. No, 10 years, I mean. You were training natural? Yeah. You show Brad that picture? The size of his arm. You see? It's fucking massive. I I promise. Tell them. When was that taken? Damn. One year ago. Holy shit. Well, I know a photo. That's sick. I promise you, if I have taken, I... Why the hell would you look I like not? You're on it then, there, Mister. Uh, not coming clean. Ask, I'm clean, Hamburg. Ask, I am clean. I promise you. You don't look clean in that picture. No. Here, this was my high peak. Get out of here, I promise Hamburg. You. You're the biggest no, fucking see. lion <laughs> sack. That's clean. Yeah, I promise you. Get the fuck out of here. Let me see. Yeah, that's me. Get the fuck out of here. Can you get the whole picture? You're natty there? Get he the is standing fuck? right behind me. Get when I drink, I'm drinking beer How there. How old are you there? It's like 2007. 2005. So 2005. Five, five, like 13 years ago? Yeah. So you're so. what? Your yeah. late 20s? Yeah, 30, 30. And I was about 29. Seven, eight years old. Yeah. Big and rich. Jesus. Come on. I That's promise, not normal. But my, I have a big stomach. Got, <laughs> you say the beer and the snooze. He's got arms, yeah, <laughs> he's got arms like, like Victor in that picture. Yeah, but yeah. Look at this. I have it still. This yeah, is, you do. Yeah. That steroid-induced muscle growth doesn't... <laughs> all of it doesn't leave. Lenny, I promise you... know what you, you took and you didn't know? You took pro no, hormones. No, no, They no, were there no, over no. the counter in Sweden. No. You took super drugs. It was over the counter. This is... Receding hairline, red face, yeah. mean look on your face. Come clean. I promise. I promise you. Come that's clean. That's not you. I can't yeah, sign that's even me. you. Yeah, I swear on my mother's grave. It's him. I hate when people say that. I have all the videos. Oh, you don't have to do that. Don't go, go there. You don't have no. to say that. I promise. <laughs> Such your mother's still alive. My you mom. show me your picture. No, my mother, His mother died no, of no, no. Cancer, cancer, right? Lost, yeah. So what kind of supplements did you take? Super No. I take creatine. Did you ever try Super Droll? No way. You, mean you didn't no know way. what it was. It was over the counter everywhere. No, no, no. no. It's you didn't have pro- you, you can't get anything. More like creatine. Um, well, I mean, could you get DHEA? Could you get no. Andrustine back no, in the day? No, 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 no. You couldn't even get that? No. 19 nor? No. Methyl 1 test? No, 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 no. Well, the only thing that came to Sweden was uh, Jack 3D pre-workout. You remember? <laughs> that doesn't build muscle. Jack 3D? Yeah. Jack 3D. What is that? Who made that? Pre-workout. Jack 3D. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Destale Chance is, new sponsor. But since I was 13 <laughs> years old, yeah. I eat six times a day, high carbs, high fat, and high protein. That's, I promise that's you. That's the Andrew Kalora Big Lenny diet from back in the day. Yeah. I everything we call Then it. I got this, uh, you know, arthritis. disease, arthritis. I, f- I stopped training. You know it, my yeah. son. Yeah. And I got fat. And what did you do during the time you trained? What did you do as a hobby to take up for it? On only, train? only train and sleep and music. What kind of music are we talking? It's like metal or punk? Metal. Oh. Take it. From He's a they're guitar players. We oh, really we have a record label in Ohio, and we played. Um, so your stuff's online. Yeah. Put it on. The best. Good. Song. We can look it up. You play bass, right? You were yeah. telling me you play bass, he plays... Put on the speaker. Yeah. Y- just one. Let's hear some. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can make a training video and you can allow us to use your music to it. We should well, shoot let, one uh, let's, let's 
Don't, Let's hear it. Yeah, yeah. Let's that's hear probably it that famous Don't start Swedish song. Them before you you are the shit. dancing queen. Oh. You are a dancing queen. Yeah. You will be a dancing queen. <laughs> Young and sweet, only 17. <laughs> oh, great. That's perfect. You know, he's going to stir yeah. that pot. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you can right. dance, you can jive, having the time what, of Hamburg's do life. Do you want to hear? <laughs> See that girl, watch that scene. <laughs> Hamburg's a dancing queen. Lenny, here, this is my band when I was playing. Okay. <laughs> Hold it to the speaker. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just smell the local bar. That's both of you playing? Yeah, this is my record. Uh-huh. Yeah, first this record. You know what he should do? He should hook up with Saul's granddaughter. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I saw her face. She just, just, just like Saul, that I know. pumpkin yeah. head. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can we use that for a training video? I like yeah, it. I Andrew Kalora would probably like this. I like it. Who's the singer? Thor. His name is Thor. Thor or Thor? Not That's bad. good. Yeah, should make a training of it, training video. But with my son is better. That's sick. He was seven years old, and I bought him a guitar and a uh, amp. So the girls like that over there, huh? And he yeah, did yeah. Slayer. Do you know the band right. Slayer? Yeah. Rain in Blood. Bam, 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 bam. I was shocked. So, but yeah. He, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, you need more like that and less cookie cutter porch monkey. Whatever. Well, they they focus on playing video games now. Yeah, I love I love Figures. I love yeah. the music rap. What? <laughs> <laughs> About no, to get knocked no. off that chair. No, I just kidding. Thank God. It's all right if you do. If shit. you do, you're a cookie you cutter. Like Plain you like. and simple. You're the ultimate cookie cutter. <laughs> People like what they like, Leonard. Yes, people fun. are cookie cutters, and they're going to hell. I like the 80s, <laughs> 70s, Journey, and uh, that music you post to. I love yeah. that. The latest one. What's what that them. song? And the songs I sing to Christina. Yeah. <laughs> Just remember I love you, and it'll be all right. Oh, God. Sing, Lenny. No, don't. <laughs> I thought you shut that shit off. Do you even check your DMs on Instagram or no? What's a DM? <laughs> it's called a direct, direct message. Private message. Yeah, I get messages from girls. Local girl around the corner wants to fuck you. Yeah, okay. And I'm trying to press the button. I don't fucking get somebody on here said, Lenny, please check your DMs. Yeah, I saw that. What is the most you've ever weighed? 452. Shortly after the bench contest, I could not uh, wipe my ass. I could not go in Andrew's truck anymore. I could still ride my bike, believe it or not, but I would fall asleep on the toilet and trying to get off a toilet at work, I used my right hand to push off a sink and I ripped the sink out of the wall. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't break any toilets, and I'll defer to Andrew Kalora. He worked at a place where they had a 600-pound black woman they used to call the toilet breaker. I'll let him, if he has a chance, explain this story to the maniacs, as only he can do. There you go. Well, after he listens to this, he can post something on Instagram. Yeah, but I never broke a toilet yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Although I, I'd like to, and I can show Dale. What do you think about that, Dale? Your toilet looks pretty fucking broken. Well, at least I can use it. <laughs> <laughs> Your shithole. <laughs> Dale probably sleeps in a hammock he's so light. <laughs> <laughs> Laying around chewing tobacco in a hammock. <laughs> Boy, I got some kind of life, man. <laughs> I'm going to do the Ruby Incoming next Incoming meme videos of Dale swinging that fucking s- hammock. <laughs> sponsorship. Cornelius is going to take me places I've never been before. 
Corn, you know, Cornelia Cornelius, my trainer, beat Boston Lloyd. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like Forrest Gump. <laughs> he is. He's the Forrest Gump of bodybuilding. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like when he came to freaking Blackstone to kiss PJ's ass. I'm just honored to be here. <laughs> I can't believe I'm in Blackstone. La- you can't believe you cookie cutter. <laughs> What is that? Some holy grail? Some kind of mecca? <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually at the headquarters of like Black a, Stone Labs. Like it's the Playboy Mansion. Yeah. <laughs> PJ comes out in his PJs. Did he really, did he really say that? Or are you just <laughs> exaggerating? His PJs. That's, that's what I remember him saying. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great impersonation, Leonard. That was a great impersonation. That was a good impersonation too, Brad. Uh, Probably not as good as Adam Pollard's, but I'm working on that guy's a master. Yeah, he's good. His impersonations man. are Adam Pollard. Sweet. I love that guy. Oh, he's. We talk a lot. He's very talented. Yeah. Yeah, he. <laughs> he's fucking great. Yeah. He's got Jay nailed. Yeah. You talk a lot. Well, better you than me. I mean, I got to sleep at some point. I don't think Adam sleeps. I, I got a lot to learn with Adam Pollard because he have the same disease like me. Excuse What's that? me. If, uh, What's can disease? I tell it? Yeah, what is it? Uh, rheumatoid arthritis. He had it since childhood, to- he told me. And I got it for 10 years. The same shit I'm getting. Shh. Rheumatoid arthritis? No, the group. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? No, we're getting oh. this fucking text oh. coming oh. in. From uh, Adam Pollard is great. It's a good guy. See, Where? now that Jay's part of the group text. Oh, forget it. it. Our it. phones are never going to stop. Yeah. So, yeah. So how do you jerk off? That's no problem. I asked. Uh, it's like the stranger. Remember Dave? Ch- was it Dave Chappelle that did that skit about sitting on your hand till the, your hand falls asleep and then jerking <laughs> off? So it's like a stranger. I heard going, about that. Yeah. <laughs> or like they do in prison, they paint their nails and jerk off. I don't see how that's gonna help me any shit. No, he has to cook a thermos of uh, mac and cheese. What the hell does that do? A what mac and cheese in a <laughs> bang bing? Wait, really? <laughs> mac and cheese in a thermos and fuck it. <laughs> Have you ever done that? No, I haven't. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Who the hell? Wow, where'd you get this tip at? You told me at the Mac end. and cheese? <laughs> nah. It's a joke in Sweden, you know. Uh, Leonard sick. just fucks raw steak. <laughs> <laughs> I, never went for, I never went for the Vaseline. The, just the dryness. <laughs> I'll pass on your masturbation details, Lenny. It's has. not much few and far between. I hate to say it, man. It's not a not a very pleasant event when you don't need to hear this. After, yeah, right, after okay, two right, minutes, yeah, I'm yeah, breathing yeah, and okay, sweating like good. I want to pass out and die. That's good, Lenny. Your relationship with your dick is your own. I don't want to know. It was at its peak in 1986. <laughs> Carla Dunlap, Flex Magazine, busting loads all over your f- till the magazine pages stuck together. Carla. Did you really bicycle to the old gym in Del Rey? Absolutely. It took, me less than f- no, it took me five minutes. I live around the yeah. corner. Five minutes? <laughs> yeah, that's that's when I look like a freak. Like yeah, but... That gym oh, was perfect yeah. in every way. Location. Got to lift heavy. Got good equipment there. Great people here. We got the maniacs here, and they took it away from us. Get so. some sponsors. I promise you. Wow. We're working on it. Uh, to me, that's a no-brainer. That should be a money-making endeavor if it's, we're on Yeah, correctly. but you got to have membership. We can do that. People say, you've tired The of first year is hard, I think. You build no fucking yeah. muscle. Yeah. It's got to be younger people. Old people will not be and able Brad, to handle this. Brad, it's shit. simple. It's simple. The hottest girls you see in any of the gyms, give them a card. Guess what? You get a free membership for a year. Get every free there. Pick out the hottest girls in all the local planets. LA is strippers. Here, you get a free membership here. <laughs> Travis, free membership? Well, you shouldn't know. A tranny, you should never know. Leonard wants to just give everything. You should just see a hot girl, (laughs) and she could be a tranny or not. You shouldn't be able to know. That's how good she should look. No, but you got a point. That guy would be wearing the old Palm Beach gym. That's what he used to do. But you have to have equipment for them to use. It's got to be Damn, Brad, you get top of the line. You don't buy so many damn TVs or cardio pieces. All the damn treadmills of Planet and TVs. Yeah, TVs. You could buy tons of great equipment. All you need is like two big TVs. That's it. 
need three power racks, two or inclines, two flat benches, dumbbells up to 150 or 200. You know, the whole array of leg machines, lap machines, hammer strength, whatever. That old school thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Simple as that. The nice re- receptionist. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Where you can. The only role is. That's, you put that's your important. Weights, I promise yeah. you. Put your oh, damn yeah. weights away. That's the role. Well, uh, other members have to hold people accountable. That's get the Richard. thing. Like, you get, a, we get big Richard right. there. He was great. Put your weights away. Not grunting, groaning. That was the first time I met Richard. Right. Was he was yelling at somebody? Let people for not work in. I, was, I backed him up. Put on your it weights too. away. He can work there with his gun and like a security yeah. guard. He can open the gym every morning yeah. at four o'clock because yeah. he likes to go to the gym at four four thirty. Big Don't Richard. sit on a bench and look yeah. at your fucking phone, porch monkey. There's I know you cowardly just, types. You'll prance to that front desk in a second. They'll call the police on me. I know. You can't say shit to anybody <coughs> in LA Fitness. They'll just go report you. I remember gyms in Pittsburgh. Guys wow. were on a bench. They wanted to use it. Some fucker sitting on it. I see a guy threw a guy right off a bench. I didn't say shit. He went to the front desk. The manager's like, don't even fucking look at the guy. Can't even call the police. There's no witnesses. Fuck you. Here to lift. Have Carly Muscle reached you out yet to take some estrogen? He's an insignificant little worm. He st- hasn't responded <laughs> to my bodybuilding challenges, my fights, my MMA way. style, and anything else with his skank ugly girl. But you want him to take <laughs> estrogen and uh, some surgery? Well, he better get some good surgery and shave yeah. too. Yeah. I hate that fucker. <laughs> yeah, he's a fucking ignorant porch monkey. Yeah. He's actually doing a lot of disservice to people. He can't even talk his Glorifies own language. prison life. It doesn't take any man of balls to get locked up for some stupid asshole. I don't like him either. Don't go telling kids that means you're tough because you're not. I'll go into those prisons. I'll fuck some of you up, and you know I will. I don't Ex- care how many you are. Expo. How Expo. hardened do you think you are? You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> not gonna, because you're fucking tattoos and... Put fucking tattoos on your face or this and that. Call yourself a one percenter. That tattoo doesn't show it anyway on the porch monkey. That's true. They still yeah. stupid enough to still get them. It depends. Some of them are more light skin, high yellow. I have nothing rainbow? against black people, but uh, someone's like no. Uh, some of the, some of so you see a lot of it in the NBA where well, real the, dark guys have ta- yeah. you can't I don't see it because I don't watch that insignificance. I have nothing well, against you. the black people unless unless, unless they're banging your son. Yeah. So um, you're a regular uh, NBA but watcher, but bro. Kali Muscle, yeah. I don't like. How do you like. fit that in your not, busy schedule? Not regular. <laughs> but it's the playoffs now. I watch the Heat. The who? They're about to get fucking bounced on Never Tuesday. Never heard of them. <laughs> Whatever, Leonard. That's what you like. I'd rather watch basketball than tranny fucking I'd rather porn, watch six foot two inch black trannies exactly. all sexy. Oh, looking. there you go. And I'm not yelling Blowing at you. Blowing loads hey, I don't on give screen a shit. and in my mouth. That's good. And we're gang raping me. What is a porch monkey? It's a fucking... <laughs> it's a name for... I'm a, if you go... Well, this is actually before the internet. It sounds just like... What wow. did they do? All That's the, great. I know a certain mailman that used to drive through their neighborhoods and deliver mail. They'd all sit on their porches early waiting for that... Free when he used to get checks in the mail. Okay. You know, like a food, actually it was a food stamps. They'd sit on their porches doing absolutely nothing but up to no good. Like that movie in Boys in the Hood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> good movie, by the way, but she just goes to show the degeneracy of that. I love that movie. Actually. Actually. You love it too. Yeah, it was a cookie, cookie cutter cowards doing drive-by shootings, you know. It's a nineties movie. You love nineties, nineties, don't you? Yeah, but the other movie was better with uh, Zeus in it. Yeah. Friday. Yeah, that's that right. It was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Yeah, I like the sexy black chick. I'd be going to her house, fucking her but just like that guy. Porsche monkeys is not a racist thing. Why don't you go to the hood and say it and see what happens? <laughs> and, and you let us know if it's a if it's only a, a few uh, blocks from your hotel. I'll say it if somebody tapes it. Let me drive you up to Riviera Beach, where Curtis lives. We'll drop you off at a Seven Eleven, and you can go. What is up, porch monkeys? <laughs> you can. But I want the listeners to know that uh, Lenny also likes black people, like uh, Coach Andrew. They and know. Correct. Correct. Yeah. He's Swedish. Yeah, but... Do you think he choose his blackness? He told me he didn't. 
No, but <laughs> oh, Leonard. you know, don't tell me about his father. Don't even, don't even, don't even. Did he choose it? I could have been like him too, but he didn't choose it. He's. Have you seen co-founder Yuli? Yes, I've, I've seen her. <laughs> no, he's bi- he's big as hell now. I wouldn't say as hell. I'm big as hell. Yeah, he's you not in too. the hell category. Yet. Wait till you see co-founder now. He's Jesus, he's pretty fucking well, big. Get on yeah. the scale there, tough guy. <laughs> How big? How, where are my whoa. challengers at? Two forty-five. He was. Yeah. He better be three forty-five before you hit my category. Yeah, Koth. You're a fucking. You better start hitting a knife and fork. Yeah, but that you are not a racist. There's no such thing. Yeah, good. That's why I like you, Lenny. Thank you. I You're straight because, for- because he's not a racist? Yes. No, no, because he's straightforward and telling what he think and like yeah. and not. Put it this way. You're going to get, as white man, you're going to get death thrown at you the rest of your life even more so. And I'm telling you maniacs this. If you give that any credence or even give it a response, that's the worst thing you can do. You do like Big Ben does when somebody assaults Ben Roethlisberger on the field. He gives him a smile and a wink. Yeah. And that drives him crazy. You know who he's referring to? Don't even respond to that. Well, I have a black oh no. I just ignore it and I say there I say it doesn't exist. Cuz you're every one of that's going to get thrown at you in droves. That's the latest excuse from a coward. That's their last resort. The cowards that they are. Yeah. Anybody that goes on the street and protests is a coward. You want something done, you get a you get a fucking army together, like they've been all through history, and some say you can't ever throw you the U.S. government. Yes, you could if you really put forth effort. Anything could be done. Who is your vote voting for 2020? Donald Trump. Of course. Yeah. He's, I don't even need to vote. He's going to get reelected. Yeah. I agree. Me, what, too. What Me your, too. I am from Sweden. So what's that mean? They see the truth. In Europe, we need we need that too. You know what he is standing for. That is what he's got thinking. balls. But uh, uh, many people in Sweden gonna kill me now. <laughs> Jesus. You know what? Tell them to go fuck themselves. For yeah. sin- you're right. Kill you for saying what? not kill me, but for, you're not allowed uh, to have, judging me. You're for, not you're not allowed to have an opinion. I like for wanting to preserve your country's customs and yeah. traditions and not yeah. let it become an Islamic yeah. Republic they basically. are afraid about it and I think nobody in Sweden like Donald Trump in Sweden it's racist you're racist it's as soon Sweden. you say something but <laughs> I don't care <coughs> I don't oh, fucking Lenny. care anymore Lenny just ruptured my eardrums so. with, that, with that cough I hope Sweden will be like it was 25 years ago yeah that's the fucking group. I told you. Yeah. It's Jay, Jay Lou, no, and Jay's Andrew. not going to stop now. No. But you guys, Does, are, you guys Do you nice. have po- pollen here? Pollen? Allergic trees and something? What? Do you have... Pollen? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have... What's this called? Pollen. Pollen. Yeah. I thought you said pollen. But you have, yeah. al- you have yeah, allergies. Yeah. At home. But uh, Jesus. No, it's not for that. What's it for? Um... Vape liquid. We should have had Emma on this podcast. She would be in fucking heaven with all these <laughs> yeah, vape pens and shit. Oh my god, fuck. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new kind of this double chamber. I'm not used to that. How does that it's work? You You're so right. Each. You're so right what you said. But yeah. Anytime you want to get a group together in Sweden and clean it up. I'll be on your side. Thank you, Lenny. I'll fight and die to the death. Thank you. From turning it into a uh, being ruled under the black flag. <laughs> Which I yeah. think those guys are overrated anyway. Yeah. Who? The ragheads. <laughs> they're what? They're overrated. They're overrated. They don't scare anybody. What's ISIS? A thousand men. Not over here. We're so on. far away. What, I mean, what the yeah, but they got decimated so bad. The only thing preventing what's happening in Europe from happening here in the United States is the Atlantic Ocean. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We're we so a, far away. We have a nice big body of water separating us. Well, what Putin said, he's got cruise missiles that we can't defend against, and I sort of believe it at the time. And now, yeah, it's possible, but 
you got to pick your enemies wisely. And I don't. Yeah, I don't where predict- are those missiles? Where are those missiles going to hit? South Central Florida. He showed exactly Central the Russian, Florida or over Google in online the Central Russian California ver- the Ru- Central Florida the Russian version of the State of the Union. He came showed in detail the new cruise missiles. Now cruise missiles you control versus ballistic missiles, and you can load them up to the hilt with warheads. He can control exactly where they're going, and his first stop is they could they could basically demolish the entire state of Florida with a cruise missile, and we can demolish Florida. Russia too. They, we, and we, we can't, can't shoot that out of the sky. But our defense systems cannot totally defend against R- this attack. R- Russia should be a lot more afraid of us than we should be of Russia. Believe me. Are you afraid of, of Russia? No. That you be, should be afraid of is North Korea. I agree. No. Nor- I, am, I, am, so? I am really North afraid Korea about and them. I, and He's Iran. a joke. No. They are crazy. He's a joke. He is nothing... There's no way he could possibly do an attack on the you know our defense systems will shut him down. Do you think? Oh yeah, South Korea could take South Korea could take him out anytime they want to. Seven, 18 new text messages. I can't. I, I am phone. afraid of North Fuck Korea you. for real. Shit. Really no, I'm afraid. Not. I'm not. I am really afraid. That's Why? it's sick that country have mass missiles who can travel all the world. No, they don't. They don't. They have a few. He announced that they stopped testing, which is bullshit. He wants to meet with the president. But the president stated one false statement or whatever, they're going to get up and walk. Now, they got to just... I hope so. They're trying to find a safe location where they could meet. Obviously, our president's country is not going anywhere near that fucking hellhole. No. Number two, I wouldn't recommend he go to China or anywhere else. They should probably go to Switzerland and have a meeting. But Neutral, Donald Trump Neutral, going to like South Korea soon. S- soon... T- I wouldn't expect Kim Jong-un to go to South Korea. I'd say Geneva, Switzerland, something like that. No, have you seen on the news? He going to the middle of North and South to, to a meeting now. Have you to read? He's not to meet Kim Jong-un? I don't know if necessary. I don't think Kim Jong-un's going to agree to that. Oh, I might be wrong, but... Why wouldn't he? No, they're not very, they're not very fond of him. They're actually making fun of him. Yeah. I think he went over there before and they were calling him fat but, something in Korea. Yeah. Fat boy. <laughs> he didn't like it. So you don't want to, he doesn't want to go there because they call me fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's your neighboring country. Easiest place for you to go to. But if you think about ah, it, I'm protecting sh- against missiles. Think Russia's, about Russia's missiles. Yeah, I hope That's you can. And, and we can whatever. in Europe. If there's missiles coming here, I hope they hit us first. <laughs> you might, I don't want if to you see, think I about it, how the hell, like, how the hell how the hell could this airplane <laughs> go to 9-11? Yeah. Tongue burning out of your throat, eyes burning, not be able to breathe. Oh my God! Were you talking about a gas attack? A radiation fallout. Oh. Yeah. You'd rather, just, you'd, you'd rather just be the direct hit. Yeah. I have a nightmare. It's gonna happen. My prediction again. I'll say it right oh, now. Within the next ten boy. years, there will be a nuclear weapon. One, some part of this world was yeah. definitely gonna be struck. You heard here first. Yeah. I, I also know in the it. next the, the, within the next ten years. Nah, yes. I say that's, next, not, that's not such a. The one thing I fear more than that is a dirt is a, a detonation a detonation of a dirty bomb. I'm amazed that has not happened yet in a major city in this country. I think it's don't give these fucks any ideas. Yeah. <laughs> they, they already have the ideas. No, trust I know, me. I know. But that's next. You watch. Yeah, I agree with you. Jesus fuck. Would you say, Mister Churchgoer? <laughs> it's not like you were the mi- Brad let's go jump some rope yeah. let's try out these jump ropes the ropes is you think yeah. they make a good whip like you get a nice sure. whipping Fuck yeah, yeah feel the texture oh Jay's on a roll with these textures yeah, this, will t- this will mangle me it's up pretty it, good well, I'm gonna thank Lou for inviting Jay into our group text cause now it's never gonna fucking end <laughs> I like Jay. I love Just think, him. both of them. No, he's there. good. Yeah, yeah. Jay's, Jay's, Jay's a good guy. AARP card. He, no. he talks a lot of shit, but it's fun. Yeah. You I, know what I mean? Yeah. He got me motivated. A little fire in my ass. Yeah. And he told me, I'm like not that he, going to train, but he got inspired by Lenny today. And, and he's squatting yeah. in Crocs. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, Crocs. yeah. A 50-year-old man. Well, when we were in the... In the bathroom, he's like, oh, I already trained this morning, but I didn't do legs. I could do legs with Lenny. That was great. Yeah. yeah. 
You don't see any of this cookie cutter twenty year old MMA f- affliction wearing t shirt faggot wimps doing any kind of. <laughs> yeah, he's in happy there, around Lenny. I saw that. I saw that. Who, Jay? Yeah, he, he's happy around Lenny. I would be too. Jay, he Jay, outsquatted me. Jay's I'm a happy around people. He lives in a fucking truck. Yeah, yeah but I think he, he, he never told gets me to do that. I shit. knew Lenny before Andrew Brown. He needs and Brad. to get a nice black yeah. hooker slash lover for the road in each city. When he goes up to Georgia, he should get a nice tan, you know, woman or tranny, whatever, to get it on in that cab with him. He'd be a happy man. A nice southern... I don't know how happy she would be. He's going to have to go to the old school. Nothing ways. like, no old, back page, nothing like interracial right sex. right up off the street. <laughs> nothing like interracial sex. That's another thrill. And then interracial sex with a tranny, it doesn't get any better than that. According to you, asshole. Brad, you just got it there and live life. I do. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't want to know anything Get about up, trannies. Go to the gym. Put on your postal uniform. <laughs> and go to the Dixie Highway. <laughs> Get the sacks of mail. <laughs> do the mail. Here comes a supervisor with more sacks of mail. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no hey, shit. some yeah. fat woman supervisor. You're working tomorrow morning, buddy. Sorry to ruin your weekend. How's your day doing? But... He's you're exactly working, right. <laughs> you're working tomorrow, buddy. <laughs> Sorry if you're like, I need a day off. Sorry, buddy. You'll be hitting the sacks of mail. <laughs> and don't go put it in your car either like these other guys we keep hearing about. <laughs> yeah, some fucking asshole in Brooklyn, I think. 17,000 pieces of mail. They found this fucking house. <laughs> he He's overwhelmed. Mail? He can take all my you get paid mail, by the hour. Just, medical bills. You get paid by the hour. Just deliver it. It's so fucking ridiculous. Wow. I have a question for Andrew. Yeah. Many fans maybe want to know. Go ahead. Nines 11. Where did you live? I oh. was down here. Yeah, okay. No, I, no. I know two people who died in the World Trade Center, but yes. I was down here, yeah. Okay. I have friends who lived right there and saw people jumping and falling out windows. Okay, yeah, yeah, I heard some stories. But you have no relatives who died? No. Yeah, the burnout. Yeah, but I, 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 I have think people. about it, so I want to ask you that. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I want to yeah, jump okay. because yeah. it burns so bad when they're on that ledge. So they'd rather fucking jump. Get that last adrenaline rush. Right before you go. Oh, you would. You'd probably light up a joint on your way down. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> what I would do is find a tranny, do a 69 and jump off in midair and go splatter. Do you sometimes, Andrew, come right go back to payments. New York? No. Do you miss it? No. I miss oh. my family and I miss my friends who are you all You miss the streetwalkers and trannies? No. Why I, why I am asking... A year ago, me uh-huh. and my son traveled to New York. I love the New York and Manhattan and Brooklyn. You might have loved visiting it, Brooklyn. Yeah. but to live there, Brooklyn, there's no Brooklyn is the next new thing in there's New York. Kimbo. There's little to no quality of life, in my opinion. Yeah. That's my opinion. Okay, you have is to that make Kimbo. Yeah, finally came out. But the fans maybe want to know uh, New York to visit. It's a very good place. Yeah, you visit during the summer, yeah. it's great. And Brooklyn shining like very more than before. Bro- what is called know. the place? 14. Bro- uh, um, Williamsburg. Williamsburg yeah. is you like know? the yeah. new hot spot. That's yeah, everybody wants to live in right. Williamsburg. All the, yeah. hips, all the hipsters live in, in Williamsburg. Yeah. Yeah. People live in Williamsburg who want to live in Manhattan but can't yeah. quite afford it. Yeah, okay. How Come did on. how did you meet Brad? Jim. Jim. At yeah. The gym. yeah. I, I met all these guys at the gym. Everyone. Yeah. Some I met in nineteen like I met Lenny, Saul, Big Richard in nineteen ninety eight when I first moved down to Florida. Andrew Kalora, and then I met the other guys, Jason, Brad, everyone else at Delray Fitness. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your answer. Anytime. Yeah. Ask me anything. <laughs> I just need to know, how do I say Christina Broccolini, I love you? Christina Broccolini, jag älskar dig. Jag älskar dig. Perfect. 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 Christina Broccolini, jag älskar dig. <laughs> jag älskar dig. All right, what everybody from Sweden, fuck? how is how is Leonard's uh, Swedish? Jag älskar dig. Yeah, that's, that's, that's oh, what the 
<laughs> All right, Lenny, I, I guess we can wrap this up soon, but someone named Jesse just messaged me on Facebook and wants me to ask you a question. Uh, let's see. First question for Lenny from Jesse. Lenny, what was your opinion when Obama first got elected as president? Were you happy to see a first black president? And second, if you became president, what would you change and why? Well, that's irrelevant to what he was. He was a liberal. He's a communist. He was a nobody, and the cookie cutters voted be him because he was did have black in him. And especially a lot of white people with white guilt used that as an excuse to vote for him. Nothing surprised me with the cookie cutters. And the first thing I would do with executive order is go after those people on welfare and food stamps, and it's going to change the program. Well, didn't guess they just, what? Didn't they just start drug testing people that apply for well, food stamps? They don't stamp? like that. Well, guess what? You're going to be put on the government diet. You're going to be given grilled skin, skinless chicken breasts, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. You're going to live in tent cities, and you're going to give it a chance to earn skills, and it'll be much more cost-effective. And you don't like it? Guess what? I'm going back to the old, you don't work, you don't eat. And I think it says that in the Bible, as I could be mistaken. You don't work, you don't provide value, you don't eat. Instead of some blood-sucking leech, and look what kind of crimes they do, and they're living a better lifestyle than me, supposedly, with more amenities, that's not going to happen. That's by your choice, though. You don't have to live Now, when that. you're locked up, they're getting great medical care, this, that, and the other. So get locked up if you want to live better. No, obviously. we're not paying for it. Government's not paying for it anymore. And the power of the lawyers will be curtailed. We got t-shirt orders we got to fill. I forgot. All right. Lenny, you want to sing us a song going out? Let's, let's wrap this shit up. I'm about ready to take a shit. <laughs> Please sing, sing your sweet your song. Clubhouse for you. Can you? Can you what? Du gamla du fri. Why don't you sing us a song in Swedish to take no. us out? Why not? Sing the national song. National song. Can you? Uh, you guys no. want to do a duet? Oh, no, I am a racist if I do it. Lenny that. could sing the Pledge of Allegiance while There's you no sing that. Yeah. <laughs> There's no such thing as racist. That's right. Thank you, Lenny. Ignore that nonsense. That's We're com- all that's human from, beings. That's it. That's coming from the mind of a cookie cutter, a coward, <laughs> and an imbecile. <laughs> imbecile. And when you have all those qualities, guess what? You're a piece of human filth. Which is worse than a cookie cutter. <laughs> a piece of human filth. Human or human? Human filth. It means so from the way you're acting now and what you're contributing to society, society is better off if you never existed. And who, who gets the qualities of a piece of human filth? I'm not one to judge anybody, but <laughs> man, you actually want to bring some names to the forefront of people that are currently alive in this country. That are nothing but human filth. Contribute nothing. Human filth. In your opinion. I'd put Obama, Barack Obama on the head of the list. What oh. good is he do- did? He caused so much racial tensions. He likes bringing up that word because he's a coward. He's a cookie cutter. And he is an imbecile. <laughs> Ooh. Miss Barack Obama. <laughs> you think he's, he's an, an imbecile? imbecile? Oh, please. He's an absolute imbecile. What good did he do? All those, you know, that disgusting creature sending out a... Ugh, How did it for some damn him? criminal getting names, streets named after him, some fat porch monkey criminal that's going into stores and stealing. Gets a street who, named that? after who, him, that Michael that? Turd. From St. Louis, that fat fuck that went in that oh, store. Oh, the one that got shot by the cop. Yeah. Hand, what do you say? My hands are up or something? Oh, yeah. Hands up, Which don't shoot. Which is not true. That was hands the whole up. He stole the fucking cop's gun. They should video footage him in before stealing out of a guy's store. And when the guy's yeah. grabbing him, he's punching the guy in the face. Guy's like fucking my size. Let's make a street after him. Then you see his fucking family at the Democratic National Convention saying... You know, Michael, he was studying to be a doctor, and he was what? out preaching the word of Jesus that day, and he got shot. 
He was preaching the word of Jesus, and they all clapped. Well, of course, they're never going to say anything bad about him. Well, they shouldn't be allowed. They're, they're brought right. to the Democratic <laughs> National Convention to hear that human filth, porch monkey filth. Well, the news media will always do that. Like some, Well, they're filth, so, and that's why Trump tweets. He doesn't give them the exclusive. He goes right. and tweets, and they don't like him. Some thug with a rap sheet a mile long will get shot by the cops or something, and then the picture that they'll portray of him on the news media is in his graduation cap yes. with a big smile on his Ten face. Ten years you know. before. Yeah. They'll and never show, like, the they'll they'll never the show one of his mug shots. Preaching or, the word of Jesus. Yeah, stealing in stores and punching the proprietor in the face. They always use that when it's convenient. These fucking well, Bible thumpers. Oh, people wanna, I wouldn't do that. I'm a Christian. You white cookie I'm cutter. I'm a Christian, yeah. Ass Fuck kissing. Here. Creep. You elected that shit. And we're still, that. he did permanent damage to that country. That piece of filth. Faggot coke user, freebaser. <laughs> but if you if you, if you if you if you we think <laughs> he's a known fact. But oh. forget the past, past, and think forward. His his shit he did is is never. Can't you he forget started it? That shit. Can't you forget it? I can, but you're gonna have to deal with it. Always yeah. if I had to deal with it because they're putting that in people's brains. Okay. You Telling think that you shit. think that's so all the SJW stemmed from his presidency? What's an SJW? Social justice warrior. What the fuck is that? You never heard that term before? I've heard it, but what the fuck does it mean? No matter what you say, somebody gets offended. Go on exactly. Twitter. Go on Twitter sometimes. You're you'll, right. You'll see so do you think is. that stems from his presidency? Absolutely. But he sometimes you have to forget and go forward. You, they're, they're not going to let him forget. They're going to keep teaching them kids that to hate us. Until the point where we're slaves and these whites will surrender to him. Just like I saw online. They had a slap whitey day somewhere in Chicago downtown. Yeah. And these white cookie cutters are letting porch monkeys smack him right in the face. And they're apologizing. I'm so sorry for my past. It's like, good God, is that funny. If I, saw, if I ever saw that scene, I'd rip that white cookie cutter to shreds. You rip his throat out and shove it up your ass, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who did he say that about again? The shit that they Everybody teach. he hates. <laughs> Cali Muscle, I think. He can't even speak, so I don't talk to illiterates. <laughs> go, to, go to school and learn how to speak first, you fucking monkey. No, it was that guy whose video you were watching last week. Damien uh, something? Damien Porch Monkey. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whatever. Another one. Never heard of Use him. the R What's word. That? You're a real brilliant man, aren't you? You're a real tough guy. You're like a fucking coward that rats people out in your neighborhood. You got no fucking guts. You don't want to get up and What's go to work. What's the R word? What's the R word? You don't word? even look like you lift. You're a fat junk food eating pig <laughs> using the R word because you're a gutless cookie cutter. Oh, racist. No, yes. Yeah, use it in front of me, you fat piece of crap. <laughs> Shouldn't even be given that piece of crap. Have you been in there. many fights, Lenny? No, I haven't because no one got the balls to fight yeah. me. Yeah. When the guy who ran into you at, with the car, he disappeared. The girl? The girl, yeah. She, no, she stayed there, but it's like, yeah. you know, when well, actually... Have you I, got the insurance money Actually, I yet? got off on it. I, I, have you I got, got, got the insurance? Sexually. Have you got the We're insurance? So you're another way. You crashed your car and you nutted away. We're working crashed, on the like case. Like we did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. went a different way. I saw a nice black girl on a halter top with hairy armpits. A little uh, hood rat scared to death. Ooh, sexy. Harry <laughs> 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 Lift up her shirt. There's like a bird's nest under there. Oh, and that thing. turns you on? Sort of did in a way, yeah. Ah. Just lying there naked, hit me again. Or do a crush video where I've seen guys had tires, car, uh, truck tires run over their leg or whatever, and they get off on it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Want to wrap this one up? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. We gotta pack up. You got, we're gonna start going down that road. Your fucking sick fetishes. That's it's time to end. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you take all these empty bottles and go, Warriors, come out to play? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. like the yeah. bottles, all these empty yeah. Heineken bottles on the table. Oh, now. by the way, I saw a clip online, and I'm thinking I used to be scared of them. You got a fucking 120 pound porch monkey. Especially afraid of I could have beat the whole fucking gang up myself. What, the movie The Warriors? Yeah, the, I could beat the whole fucking gang up myself. These the guys are a buck ten. I'd so, run through them like a hot knife through butter. So was Bruce Lee. 
Oh, I would have destroyed him. He's a fucking. <laughs> oh, God. He's such a fucking. He'd hit funny. you a hundred times before you he cock your me, fucking I'd fat arm face. back. He'd run for me. He'd call the cops. He'd want to throw me in anger management. You get a hold of a <laughs> stick figure like that, little rice eater. Oh, forget it. Yeah. You're done. I love how he talks all this shit. Oh, about someone who's dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, step up to the plate there, Bruce. Chuck Norris. <laughs> never heard of her. Step up to the plate. You're such you a about Never heard of her. But the biggest man in history is Charles Bronson, the actor. Did you like him? Yeah, he's a he's, uh, same nationality as me. He's up from Western Pennsylvania, yeah. boy. Yeah, yeah struck it rich. I also like Death him. Death Wish, right? Yeah. yeah. Similar to myself. You know, I don't I like heard small the remake talk. the sucked. He had some oh, yeah. woman Most kissing his do. ass, welcoming him to another country. He's it's in the beach. He's like, get the fuck away from me. I don't like small talk. And she was in tears. She ran out. She was like a representative from the country designed to welcome him. And he said, get the fuck out of here. Because I don't yeah. like small talk. Asshole. How you doing? How you doing? He's like, fuck you. Get out of here. Yeah. And so he's an asshole. Just no, like he was you. right. I agree with him. Oh, please. I agree with him. You guys got fans, you say hello. Who gives a shit? Who? No, he says, I don't want to hear your shit. That's what he said. She must not have been good looking. Lenny! Or he was a homo. Have you ever been thinking Christina Broccolini may uh, be listening to this podcast on she iTunes? She does listen to yeah? Of course she does. What are you thinking if she is listening? Well, when we meet, we'll, we'll speak, but I prefer to... Keep it on the level of her being an angel and a goddess. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to meeting her. Yeah. And she gives me feelings like I yeah, said nobody else ever did. Yeah. And they're very pure and very loving. Yeah. Thank you for your answer. Thank you. I hope you can hook me up with her. You'd be a... Yeah, another one. Everybody that, would, that comes we, here is asked to hook him up with You Christina. would owe me a debt I could never possibly repay in this life, but yeah. I'll pray, repay it in the It hasn't life. been done yet. It's not going to happen. Hamburg, thank you for coming on. Thank got you a few for more days being in town, here. So we'll thank you. Fun. Good. Uh, that's it. Night. The end. Christina Broccolini Esperuf. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>